Okay. Session 13. Lucky number 13. Nothing bad could possibly go wrong. Upon waking from the previous night's horrors, all the rations had been strewn about the camp and seeming to have rotted. Maggots, flies, and other crawling creatures made their way busily through the party's carefully preserved rations. The group did their best to salvage what they could and collect potentially edible maggots from the rotted rations. After a disturbing and somewhat enlightening encounter with the mutilated and hanged gnome Polo, where Mavly produced a bronze lantern with a green flame that seemed to pull Polo's disembodied spirit back into his mutilated body, causing him great amounts of both agony and ecstasy. The group took what information they had gotten in the strange rhymed sing-song fashion from Polo and ventured forth along the path. The group continued on their journey, and after an hour, the terrain began to change. The forest grew warmer, moister, and gradually became more of a swamp than a forest. Thick liquid as clear water, but dense as mud, covered the swamp to a depth of about two feet. Over the next four hours, the path split. The footsteps that they'd been following, visible under the liquid, clearly favoring the left path. After another two hours of travel, the path continued into a small mountainside cave. Just as the party crammed into a five foot wide tunnel, they were ambushed by quag fiends, nearly ending in tragedy several times. Our would-be heroes, however, were successful in fending off the spirits of the drowned who sought to have the group join them. After another four hours of travel, the path led out of the clear muck again and back into a sparse forest, blackened and charred as if affected by a great and recent fire. After six more hours of travel, the sparse forest became dense again, though the trees did not retain any color beyond black and gray with the occasional brown. After three more hours of travel through the dense terrain, the party spotted a second archway in the distance. It was practically identical to the previous arch with simple, bare, yet surrounded by a thick mass of blackened trees on both sides with old runes that may have once lined the edges but have long since been eroded. The safety of this archway seemed a very inviting spot for the party to rest. Can our heroes endure the trials to come? Will the team's resolve hold up? Will odds roll in their favor? Fear the strangers in your midst. Never play games of fate. I believe we left off. At a rest. At the end. of Nona and Mavly's watch with Lee and Sudi having been awoken and taking over the watch. So Lee and Sudi, what are you doing while standing watch? What is the current environment? I'm sorry? What is the current environment? Is it just more stone? You're just outside the gate. So there's there's the stone gateway and on either side are, are thick oh, um, masses trees. of blackened trees. Yeah. Right. Lee, sorry, <laughs> Lee would usually be spending her time carving and uh, just trying to gather her thoughts while also paying some attention to the surroundings. Uh, but she's really weary and 
was really tired uh, when she went to rest this time. So she has kind of half-heartedly taken out her carving kit and she's just kind of sat down on the ground with her legs like out, not crisscross, but just out in front of her. And she's kind of leaning over and staring at her carving kit and also listening to the surroundings and just kind of deadpan face. <laughs> okay, awesome. So it is. Um, Lee, please roll, roll a d4 for me and tell me what you get. I got a four. Okay. And what is Sudi doing? She's mostly pacing. Uh, she'll reach out, pause, touching a tree. It's kind of a feel she hasn't felt in a long time. And even the trees back home felt differently. So she finds it curious, even though it's blackened and she'll rub some of the soot off and pace back across, keeping an eye out around her. Okay. I need both of you to make constitution saving throws. Nineteen. 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 Okay. <laughs> Both of you manage to stay awake um, between pacing and carving. Make one more roll for me. Um, this is a sanity saving throw. Okay. Twelve. Seventeen. All right. Lee, as you're carving your piece of wood, what, what is it that you're carving? Oh, well, I'm actually kind of just staring at it. I'm not really feeling the usual energy or restlessness being able to come out of me through my carving as mm -hmm. usual. Um, so I'm kind of just holding a scrap of wood that I haven't made anything out of yet and holding my carving tools against it. Sometimes maybe like making the motions, but not really starting anything. Oh, okay. Uh, in, in that case, uh, roll me one more constitution saving throw. Okay. 20. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See how long that lasts tonight. <laughs> yeah. And Lee, I need a perception check from you. Okay. Five. Okay. Oh, that was weird. All right, Sudi. Yes. As you're as you're pacing around, the lights of the sky, the swirling colors up above you seem to take on a sort of trance-like pulsation. And you glance up and you kind of stare at it for a few minutes. And then as you glance back down, you kind of look around the camp to make sure everything's okay. You notice that a very similar kind of thick fog that you've experienced before kind of starts building in the area around the camp. And it gets thicker and thicker. Is it the kind of fog that they experienced when they entered the area where the others were at first? It seems like it, yeah. 
And as this heavy fog materializes around you, you begin to see swirling shapes just visible beyond the edge of your vision, which at this point is around 30 feet and quickly dropping. Sudi grips her naginata, goes over and shakes Lee's shoulder. As you walk over to shake Lee's shoulder, in the density of the fog at this point as you're approaching Lee, you, you don't so much see it as Lee, but you see it as a silhouette. And as you reach out to grab Lee's shoulder, you touch the shoulder and turning around to face you, you see a face with three glowing red eyes. Its mouth parting open in three separate directions with rows of jagged razor sharp teeth. On its head are long disjointed kind of antlers that appear to have pierced the skull and are sort of tied on at the top of her head. And this figure looks at you what does Sudi do? She immediately lets drop her naginata. Okay, you drop your naginata. No, to I, sideways to cut it in the head. Okay, you're gonna attack it. Yes. Great. I would like you to roll to hit. Ooh. We'll count this as a surprise. Okay. Twenty-one. All right, roll damage. Eight. Eight points of damage. All right. As you swing at it, you cleave into the side of its kind of face with your naginata and slice into it and it reels back from you. Okay. Um, Nancy, roll me a d20, please. Okay. Um, Sudi, I would like you to roll initiative for me. Okay. Well. Six. Six. Okay. All right. Bear with me for just a second here. Okay. Um, Okay, Lee, you are not paying particularly close attention um, as you're kind of staring down at your woodwork. And before you have a chance to react, you feel the blow of a weapon strike down on the side of your face cutting into you and you take eight points of slashing damage. Um, how would Lee respond? Um, I feel like she would be realizing what was happening as it was hitting. So as soon as she started to realize that there was an attack, she would be trying to create distance between her and the attacker if that's her surprise response um so definitely she was not paying attention to Sudi as a potential threat in that moment so definitely would have come as a surprise and she she's sitting down um so depending on the angle where she's hit she would potentially roll out of the way if faster uh, but try to get on her feet and face 
the direction of the hit, but also backing up and creating some distance. Okay, so we'll say that this is a disengage action. Yep. Okay, Sudi, as you slash down on this creature, um, it it kind of reels back away from you and takes takes a few steps back and looks as if it's ready to engage. I'm not necessarily looking to fight, but she's backing out of spread, but I don't know how that would be reflected in the yeah, creature. Her, so. her perception of this is not the same as yours. <laughs> Yeah. Sudi wants to make sure it stays away from the sleeping people, first off. Which one of them is between the other and the sleeping people? Um, we'll say, let's see. We'll say it's um, both Mavly and Quinn. No, I mean, which one is... Lee or Sudi closer to the sleeping people? Like oh, which one oh, is oh. between? Um, I, I think she, or the creature backed up and put some people between you and her. Okay. Um, Sudi crouches lower in a stance to spring and then moves forward abruptly as if to threaten it away from the others. Because waking up with blood splattered all up you will just get you complaining. Mm -hmm. so she wants to move it away before she strikes, if possible. Okay, so mechanically, do you think that this is an intimidation? Yeah. Okay, um, so go ahead and make an intimidation check for me. Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, Lee, as you disengage from this and move back, um, you can see that Sudi is very clearly um, kind of moving in a threatening manner as if she's poised to strike again and intends to do so. Um, should I treat this uh, like I'm, uh, am I in battle? Like taking a turn with yep. my thoughts? Okay. Um, let's see. I think I could prepare an action or prepare, well, sorry, I'm looking at the rules because I don't do this very often. I want to prepare to block if necessary, but I'd like to continue to back up Okay, so that's a dodge action. Okay. Uh, it, it essentially gives any attackers disadvantage to hit you. Okay, I'll do that. I'll continue backing up, but I'm still going to stay kind of not going far away from the path kind of thing. I'm just kind of slowly taking some steps back, and I have my, let's say, one hand up, and then my other hand is on my um, the, right. the sword. Um, okay. Can I try to um, Sudi, Sudi, and I'm just trying to like see if Sudi I Sudi glances from side to side, trying to spot Lee, because Lee, Lee should be over here helping her. Yeah, you you can't see Lee because the fog is too thick. But as the figure moves away from you, kind of backing away from you tauntingly, you hear you hear it whisper, and you hear the phrase. De ma. As the as the fog thickens again and obscures the figure before you. And then the fog starts to lift, almost as if melting down to the forest floor. And then you see standing before you the bleeding Lee. Sudi's mouth falls open. He's unsure what to say. Sudi? Sudi. Um. The, 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 the beast. It, it uh, was here. Don't know about that. 
Are you okay? <laughs> she, she looked at the cut on Lee look. and then the blood on her blade and seemed incredibly confused. You just smacked me. Uh, well, we're not doing that again, yeah? Who right? are you? Uh, Lee, I am Lee. So what, what just happened there? Cause I wasn't expecting that. The, the, the mist came in and the, the beast came in as well. It, it took your, took your form? Were you sleeping? No. Oh, I can't say I'm, I've been a little distracted, but I, you've been pacing. Just. You wasn't expecting, I uh, guess I should be paying more attention then. <laughs> Sudi sits down abruptly and looks at her weapon again, and then back toward Lee. Oh, there is definitely wep uh, blood on yeah. your weapon, and Lee is definitely bleeding. And she's trying to piece this together, because she definitely saw herself cut a monster. And it doesn't make sense. And she shouldn't cut Lee, but she didn't. <sighs> In a way, this kind of slightly snaps Lee out of her funk of just staring at her carving kit, but she's also kind of pissed off now. Not directly at Sudi per se, but just mad at the situation and her head hurts. <laughs> yeah, Sudi, Sudi definitely oh. just attacked you unprovoked. She'll probably have a face scar for the rest of her life. Yeah, Lee's not really sure what to do at this moment, but she is glad to see Sudi responding to her in this situation and is keeping her distance that she has created since being smacked as she kind of, her hand is still kind of at her side, prepared and keeping an eye on Sudi, but she's starting to kind of like feel around her face and be like, oh God, what just happened? <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's a pretty significant bit of flesh that is now like kind of lying loose off of the side of your face. It it probably almost cut your ear off. Okay. Um. Does she have like muscle intact? Like, is she able to move her face? Normally, it's more like a skin and maybe nicked bone or tendon or like yeah the, no. the way i envision it is it like impacted your skull right behind your ear and like sheared part of that flesh down the back of your neck off okay so i, I imagine it's probably hard to move your head in certain directions because that muscle muscle tissue is now damaged yeah okay so i'm holding my weapon with one hand and i'm kind of like holding up my face with the other and Lee's just a little bit shocked right now. And uh, let's see, so my bag would be where I was sitting down. Uh, well, none of us- I think at really this point, you're like at the opposite side of the camp, putting everybody between you and Sudi. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Lee wants to care for her wound, but is suspicious of Sudi and also just ouch. So she's kind of just standing there <laughs> and a bit silent and just kind of watching Sudi and she'll respond necessarily but she's not offering up conversation at the moment okay yeah. so how how are you treating this wound that is kind of on the side to back of your head 
Um, if there's a shear, then I have realized that, but I, with the shock, I'm not looking to touch it right now. So she's yeah. more like touching the part that is where it should be and kind of yeah. putting pressure you're, on you're it. You're definitely in shock right now, yeah. Yeah, and she's um, kind of just ignoring it to the best of her ability to not um, detract her focus from reacting if necessary in the moment. Mm -hmm. Just kind of shock response. Like the adrenaline is still going, so she may not have fully comprehended that there's a whatever part is detached partially. Yeah. May not have fully comprehended that, and she's just like holding there, assessing the situation, and doesn't know what to say. Yeah. And, and as you're holding your hand there, kind of trying to stop the bleeding. Like you can feel the warm blood running down your elbow and you can see it as it's dripping down to the ground in front of you. Yeah, and it's a head wound too. So that would probably be bleeding faster, even if more shallow. Sui's watching Lee and she is behaving like Lee now. And she doesn't seem to be turning back into a monster. So How much time has passed? Sorry. Seconds. Seconds. Well, I mean, like, um, with our watch, like, how far are we into the watch at this About point? About an hour. Okay. So halfway through our long rest watch portion, roughly. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, after Lee's been holding her head like that for like a minute, if she does that long, then Sudi will hesitantly approach with her weapon lowered. You would back up as you do so and say, you need, you need to not come at me with weapons right now <laughs> in kind of like a don't fucking touch me voice tone. <laughs> like she's, she's not mad directly at you, but you can tell she's pissed and like is not going to have you walking towards her without conversation kind of vibe, body language wise. Judy stops and then with her free hand, she points and says, um, perhaps we could wrap something around that. Do you have something to wrap around? What do you have? You can toss me something. Okay, uh, Sudi uses uh, her well, she wipes her blade, and then she chops a piece off her blanket and throws it to Lee, and it's like a piece of animal hide. Okay. I think um, I did actually physically, I do have a backpack on my bedroll, or sorry, not a backpack, uh, a blanket uh, that's made from cloth in my mind, so... Uh, well, Sudi just used hers because it was what she had. She didn't go through your stuff. Yeah, I think um, if I saw you going for something that would not seem like a bandage to me, then Lee would kind of be like, "You're maybe maybe take a look at my blanket and kind of try and direct you over there." Well, Sudi is um, redirected and she cuts a piece <laughs> off your blanket instead. Okay, so Lee would go and get that, but only if you are giving, like, more than arm's reach, like... He tosses it. Yeah. Uh, she'd be asking... It, at this you, point, like, the whole right-hand side of Lee's body is kind of covered in this fresh blood. I think once she went to retrieve that section, she'd probably keep an eye on Sudi and then just sit down um, to take care of her head and also, cause ouch, <laughs> uh, clearly Sudi is responsive at this time. So, um, well, okay, so in my head I'm thinking, okay, it's only eight points damage, but it's definitely something that in, it would need some kind of treatment yeah, so eight, eight points of damage is a lot. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, is this a situation where I can put something together 
Like I, I brought healers kits for, I brought healers kits, but that's more of your downed kind of situation. So I don't know if that is applicable here. And I healers do not- kit, Yeah, healers kits are more like stabilizing. I, I think that, that this, it could like s stop the bleeding. Yeah, with um, is it slowing down bleeding at all in in the minute or two or however long this is of conversation, or is it not really? Yeah, right? not really. Um. Okay, at that point, if it wasn't slowing bleeding and she had a couple seconds to have the shock wear off, and she's realizing it's still profusely bleeding, uh, I would tell CD, "Can you go through my pack and toss me a healer's kit?" And she'd just be kind of curt when she said that. <laughs> Would Sue be able to tell which one is a healer's kit? Yeah, I think it's you've, you've seen Lee use them before. Okay. I don't have that much in my bag that would look like that, so I feel like it'd be obvious what it is. And she tosses it left-handed since her right hand's still holding her naginata. It's kind of like, it's kind of like somebody who doesn't know exactly what's in a first aid kit can identify what a first aid kit is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like that or like soap, chalk, water mm -hmm. kind of thing in my bag. So I feel like, I feel like you could, uh. Right. Yeah. It's probably like some charcoal to stop the bleeding and some bandages. Yeah. Uh, um, let's see. So Lee would. Hmm. So Lee would attempt to use uh, items in the healer's kit to, uh, oh, also she would have asked you to toss the water skin. So I'm just gonna assume you did that too. Uh, so she kind of like splashes a bit of water on and uh, tries to like wrap or put pressure. Uh, I assume there's some kind of gauze or something of that effect. Something some clean, to clean cotton, yeah. Yeah, something to just kind of hold, and she's just kind of sitting down, holding her head, still looking at Sudi, and sure. just trying to get it to stop bleeding. If it doesn't stop bleeding with that, then she would be eventually. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do, um, make a medicine check at disadvantage, because you're trying to do this on the back of your own head. Okay. <laughs> I got a two. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, not working very well. You don't know exactly the extent of the injuries. Um, so it, yeah, you've kind of like wrapped this gauze around your head, but you haven't completely, you know, kind of um, stymied the bleeding from the entirety of the wound. So you're definitely like still um, bleeding and it's quickly soaking through the bandage because you haven't correctly applied pressure to the right spots and all that. Okay. Uh, Sudi, do you say anything during that time period or are you just kind of watching me? She's just w watching. She figures you have the healing and she has no experience at all in healing. So she just lets healers do their thing. <laughs> yeah. I think at a two, and especially since it's not Lee's specialty, she would, and especially considering the situation, she'd probably be looking pretty dang clumsy when she does that. But uh, um, I think as she's kind of attempting, she uh, says to Sudi, I think I'm gonna need some help with this. And I don't know if I want you doing that. <laughs> uh, who, who was on last watch again? Um, Nona. Just before you was Nona and Mavly. Okay. Well, I would think of. Uh, I mean, no, uh, can you guys remind me what Nona's general condition was going to sleep? Um, just like is she. Like how injured she is. Yeah. Are you Are you looking pretty good or not so good? She's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Uh, then uh, she's gonna ask a lot of questions. Yeah. After uh, after after Lisa's, I think we need some help. She kind of looks over to Nona and says, 
Sudi, can you just can you just get Nona? I'm not. Sudi moves over toward Nona and shakes her in the same way Nona had shaken Sudi earlier. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> ah. Is it my watch? No, Ooh. your watch was left, but uh, Lee's head needs assistance. What happened? She like gets up real quick, a little too quick. Yeah, you like head. glance over and you see that like what the he fuck? is profusely bleeding. Oh from my god! A serious head wound. What? Ha <clears throat> what happened? She's like she has her bag in her hand. She's walking over. Her she's getting out her supplies. <laughs> uh, Wait, who did what? Did, were we attacked? Did you not wake? Why didn't you wake us up? Well, uh, maybe a can pretty eyed spirit you... took her body, said Sudi a bit strangely and offensively. That's not what I, that's not my perspective. Oh, I see. And Lee sounds um, a little when she says that. <laughs> like, maybe she, more than pissed, undertone of very pissed. She, she had a small outburst. She was like, that's, that's what? a really good question. Um, how loud are you are you being? So I was I was loud for a second. So I did have one out like, what happened? I mean, what happened? So she 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 lost herself for a second, but but now she's being quiet. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, wanna, the, the, wanna, the sleeping people, if, if you think that this might wake you up, um, I'll leave that to you. Um, it was pretty tuckered out. She'll probably stay asleep. Mm -hmm. Mavly hadn't been asleep for long. She will probably wake up. <laughs> my my focus is purely on Lee. Um, Why Lee, is the I, watch stander bloody? If I heal, does that negate my long rest? Yes. If I if I heal her. Yes. Oh, with perhaps. magic. If I don't use magic, will that still negate my long rest? I'm sorry? If I don't use magic, will that still negate my long rest? Yes. What if she just utilizes the healer's kit a little more appropriately than what I did or checks what I did kind of thing? Same thing? Uh, like, yes. Okay. There are three loose good berries somewhere, FYI, because I can make ten. So. Susie didn't have one. Then there's Would you four. Like, put it out somewhere. Probably, I don't know. Lee would not be thinking of that in this moment, and she also doesn't necessarily feel very familiar with that kind of thing, so she hasn't necessarily kept up with the stock, so to say. Yeah. I feel like Nona would know. Nona, why is Lee bloody? Nona, what happened to the baby? I uh, the baby. She's like the youngest one here, I think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I think, uh, well. You can see blood on Sudi's Naginata. No, no. Didn't she wipe it off? She didn't yet. Oh. You oh I, thought you did the, I thought you did the cut the blanket or whatever. But if we didn't cut the well, blanket, did, then. Did, yeah, I guess she would have had to. So there would have been but... blood on the blankets now. Yes. No, there would be blood um, on. There's blood everywhere. She's There's bleeding a lot. Okay. 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 Is this um, under control or not? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Um, did Wit have any more of those berries? Yes. Could you go get one for me? Yes. Thank you. Please. And she's going to just <laughs> kind of tut over Lee while Mavly gets mm -hmm. the berries. Okay. You can come back with the berries. They're sitting okay. out in her sugary tray of mead and berries. <laughs> like, 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 like a hotel, but weird. <laughs> like on, on the stone slab that's there. Yeah. So, in inspecting this injury from from a third third party oh, yeah, point of view, yeah. what what you see is there's like an incision on the top back section of of Lee's skull going down behind her ear and like carving off a flap 
including a section of the back of her neck. It looks like this blow could have killed her. Killed her. Had yeah. It been, had it been more um, expertly placed. Um, it's also very clear that this is a blow that was struck from above. Yeah. Well, Sudi already kind of admitted it. So. Um... And... Okay. Um... Yeah, but... Hmm? That that's a that's a lot yeah. that's that's a lot. It is a lot. I was kind of gonna look around. Are we good? Should we all should we get everybody else up and get out of here? That's a that I don't want anything to. I was yeah. sleeping. I mean, I mean, I was also. We could. So, okay. Um, maybe maybe. Maybe you need, are you tired? I am always tired. No, 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 I was talking, I was, I was talking to Sudi. Oh, I know you're always tired, hon. I'm old. Ah, me too. Everyone is tired. Do you, um, I, I, I understand that maybe it was your blade that did this. I, I attacked the three-eyed monster and, and mm -hmm. Lee was in the way. Mm -hmm. well, You're welcome to make an insight check. I feel like, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll make an insight check. I feel um, like she's not being Judy. super great at lying. So but... please, please make a deception check. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. Um, so do I, which but, makes it a zero. Lee responds to what Sudi said and says, in the way between you and the ground. So okay. she would have got a zero. She would have got a zero, and Nona got a five. <laughs> um, Lee. Um, I think Lee, you clearly know that this is a lie. That. Uh, Sudi is telling. Mm -hmm. um, Nona, you're pretty sure that that's not true. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Okay. Um, Sudi, it doesn't help anybody uh, to not be fully upfront with people right now. We, we're all in this together. Okay, so we're being gentle we're being with the Sudi who just stabbed her fellow watch members? She's, like, she's look, I am all... We're attacking right now. Oh, the silent one isn't either. Maybe we should be nice to him the next time he shows up. Well, I feel like the next time he shows up, he's attacking. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should ask him if he needs a hug. Sudi, do you need a hug? Talk? He says to Hofwick Ma like all the fucking time. Oh, did she? Says Sudi and points at Lee. I think Wait. I could maybe use a little help right now and to be fair, yeah, I didn't so think I was attacking someone before either. They um, kind of have you eaten the berries yet? Uh, if you told me to, I would have eaten them. I did. Okay, so so as you eat one of the berries, um, you recover uh, one HP. One HP. I would have just given her all three. Four. I think. Four. Oh. Well, I would have given her three. Extra okay. one just yeah, so three HP and and what bandaging you do have on your head um seems to have now stifled the bleeding. But it's still soaked in blood. Yeah. Um I don't have a ton of strength right now. If I just get a little bit more rest, I can fully heal you. I just don't have it in me right now. Yeah, as long as I'm uh who hasn't gone on the watch yet? Is it still bleeding? Is it done with that? It, it has it has for the most part stopped bleeding at this point. Okay, Lee, Lee's like checking in because she's like not processing what's going on yeah. here right now. So she's kind of checking in with Nona like. Is it uh, Lee probably wouldn't bleeding? notice if it stopped bleeding or not. So she's checking it with the uh, no one. Oh, don't mess with I it. Too much. Light it looks much better. Looks much better. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Nona is magic. You're magic too, Madeline. Lee's like mad, but not processing. So she kind of just, it hurts. Can't really feel what hurts, just a lot of hurt. And she's just kind of like taking that at face value of like, okay. This is one of those things where if you don't see it, it's probably better. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Don't, don't try. Just put your hands down. It'll be okay. (laughs) I do have a mirror that you can look at yourself in the morning. Tomorrow. And you over there. With the, with the big stick, with the big pointy stick that you whack people with. What the hell? It, it doesn't deceive you, right? Yeah. Calling, calling her weapon a big stick. Big stick. Very big. <laughs> Exceptionally pointy. Particularly. I, I was attacking a monster. Mm-hmm. Understood. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, everybody, we should probably figure out a reasonable plan on how to, you know, figure friend from foe before, you know. I was thinking hand signs, hand signs, like hand, hand signs, like, like not very complicated. Do it again. <laughs> Knitting really helps the dexterousness of your, you know, like, yeah. Maybe just some yeah. kind of you know, tomorrow's warning. another day. Yeah. Some kind of warning next time would be good. That uh that might help. Uh you need a safe word? Are we sure that Lee is still Lee? She only has two eyes. Oh that's helpful. That mm, sums everything right up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, uh I feel I'm, like this maybe is beyond my purview at this point. Next... I think everybody's a little fucked up. I'm going to bed. Okay. 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 I'm gonna go I'm gonna go lay down by the bear. Okay. Well Snore. I hasn't done watch yet. I think I feel like one of I feel like maybe one of you should go to sleep and then we should wake a new person. If uh, if the bleeding has stopped and she's gotten that confirmation and Lee is past the point of shock for a couple minutes kind of thing, she kind of starts to like shake off Nona a little bit and be like, I'm fine. I'm, this is good. Everything's okay, good. But, but I feel like just, maybe, just maybe the two of from... you just don't mesh as well as we had hoped tonight. Well, I'm certainly going to be on that end of camp for the rest of the night and I am not going to sleep. <laughs> so... So do you, you, you must, yeah, so do you must understand that Lee is uncomfortable, right? So maybe uh, somebody else can take watch with Lee this for, for now? And just I just to make a different watch? Yeah. Okay. Would that work, watch-wise, for a rest? <laughs> okay. If that works, then Lee wouldn't be protesting at that point. Okay. I seriously, as a person, have the worst memory, and I have no idea who was the last on watch before, like, who's done watch already. So Edie and Wid took the first watch. Edie and Wid. Nona and Mavly took second watch. Okay. So Quinn. Quinn is the one. Someone else wake up Quinn because I do not have a good like repair report. Report. Mm-hmm. Well, Sudi can wake up Quinn before she goes to. And she okay. just scoops up Quinn and sets her up right. What? No, don't do that. Sudi, <laughs> that's not how you treat little people. Uh, Quinn gets a rude awakening by being manhandled. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that dagger won't be thirsty for long. She stood up but still asleep and then she only wakes up as she drops to the ground. <laughs> she did not let her drop. She just like, holds her like, you're supposed so you to put her back down. Put her back down and wake her up like you woke me up. <laughs> okay. So he lays her back down and shakes her. <laughs> I'm not, 
I'm up. I'm up. What's going on? Is it my turn? It is your turn. Um, we had an incident. Uh, gesturing to the blood-soaked Lee. And the the slightly less bloodied, but probably spattered a bit, Sudi. Um, and we think that maybe it would be in everyone's best interest if you helped Lee on the last watch. I'm happy to help. Okay. Is uh, everybody no. on a sleeping mat? Does somebody need to use my mat? Oh, Madly might want to, to go to bed. Um, Madly is like totally curled up with Wid, like burrowed in the. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I think we're good. Um. Yeah, just wake me up if anything else happens. Um, would you guys like me to light some incense to just kind of calm everybody down? I'm pretty okay, Lee. Do known as incense, yeah. Sure, sure, why not? Okay. He so, sounds more tired. She's just gonna, she's gonna put some like a sliver of incense in her little sensor, um, and just kind of have it waft over everybody, and just kind of calm everyone. Maybe like it's like a like an eighth of what she has left. Maybe it'll give them like sweet dreams. That's the plan. Doki doki. Have sweet dreams, no, no. Thank you. So Sudi is going to sleep, right? I don't know what she's gonna dream about after that. Victory. Right, so Quinn and Lee are taking up the remainder of this watch. Uh, What is Quinn doing? Uh, actually, gonna... I'll, I'll ask the question to Lee as well. Well, I would like to get caught up. Um, so just going to ask Lee for the whole story. What happened? What happened to you? And well, uh, I was perhaps paying more attention to my surroundings and less attention to our group and Sudi seems to have thought I was an enemy for a moment there. And uh, that was a poorly timed lack of attention on my part, clearly. And she kind of like nods to her head with some other part of her body other than her head. (laughs) However that would work, like references to it or something. I'm so sorry. Can I help clean you up? I think I'm good. I uh, had enough uh, stuff for tonight. Thanks, though. (laughs) She's like a little uh, thanks, but no thanks. Nicely, but warily when she says it. Maybe do you want to play I Spy? You know what? Sure. Given that... uh, haven't really seemed to carve anything at this point, and I should stop looking down after what just happened. So sure, uh, you can go first and maybe I'll, uh, she actually just stands up nervously cause she's kind of like afraid to turn her head at the moment. Um, so she sees this as a way to keep alert, but she's gonna kind of be turning her body for a while and trying to not move and just ignore her head situation. Okay. Um, so I would like both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Cool. Fifteen. Great. No. <laughs> eight. I was at three. Okay. 
Great. Um, Lee, sanity saving throw, please. Okay, was nice playing I spy. And my and my twenty d twenty sanity roll is a two. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so as you kind of go through this, I spy. There's there's a natural pause as the person who's about to you know take their turn thinks of something or looks around in the darkness for something. And as, as it's Quinn's turn, um, you know, she takes a while thinking about it and then nods off. And after a few moments, um, Lee gets a little bit curious and glances over at Quinn, thinking, you know, what's taking so long to think of something to spy, right? And you glance over at Quinn and you notice that Quinn has fallen asleep. And as you're about to get up and walk over and shake her to wake her back up, you you hear a rustling of sound to your side. Uh, make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> Two. Okay. I would like each of you to pick a number between one and six. And just hold up, hold up the number on your hand, like everybody, all of you, to just hold up the number on your hand. And one of you is going to have to be a duplicate. So, everyone. Yeah. Just yeah. Everyone. Make up a number. Okay. Now I'm going to roll a die. Okay. Lee, as you hear the sound, you look to where you hear the sound coming from and you see a dark figure with three glowing red eyes, casually walk towards the group out of the woods. And it walks into the midst of the group. It's tall, emaciated body looking down at each of your sleeping compatriots. As I saw something approach, as it would be approaching, I wouldn't be moving towards it or anything, but I kind of start saying like, no, no, as no, you, and I'm out louder each time. Yeah, as you try to speak, you find the words are caught in your throat. Okay. And you, you put more effort into speaking and maybe try to move your hands to your throat and find that you cannot move. And the figure continues to move around the camp looking at each of your compatriots in turn. As it moves toward Sudi, it kneels down reaches out its long taloned claws, clenches them around her head 
digging its claws into the sides of her throat. And you can see as Sudi begins to struggle and it clenches her mouth shut so that she can't scream. But you can see her struggling and she's fighting to get away from it. And as the talons dig deeper and deeper into the base of Sudi's skull, digging up into her windpipe, into her jugular, you see the warm blood spill out down Sudi's throat, her neck, down her sides, saturating the soil all around her. And gradually the movement in Sudi stops. Can I use my point of inspiration? Is that possible? Uh, it's a little late now. Okay. Well, and then, and then as you're watching, the silent one keeps hold of Sudi with its talons dug deep into the base of her skull. And it drags her slowly out of the camp. Still can't move, still can't talk. Still can't move, still can't talk. And it passes your periphery and you lose sight. You find yourself stuck in this position for what seems like an eternity. But mechanically is two hours. And then you see motion in your periphery again. And you see Sudi seemingly unharmed walks back into camp, looks at you and quietly holds her finger to her lips and then winks at you and lies down in her bedroll. And Sudi's not at any of those things before. <laughs> and then you feel your body is released from whatever paralysis that you were held in. Okay. So am I aware it's been roughly two hours in, in my head? Am I it aware of that time? It feels like a long time. Quinn's just still like, I spy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, so Lee's past the point of a long rest at this point, right? So she will not be. How does this work for that? Because I also got attacked during long rest, and I also don't think I was taking long rest. Or I'm, I'm getting one out of so this. So you, you are not completing a long rest. Would I be, if you don't complete a long rest, but get some time in, do you get, uh, not necessarily HP, but would I feel at all rested after this? I, I would give you the option of spending hit dice, but you would not get the benefits of a long rest. Okay. I'm just wondering if Lee felt like she slept at all kind of thing, even if poorly. Uh, you, you do not feel fully rested. Um, all right, uh, well, who hasn't done their, who hasn't done theirs yet? Has everyone, because Quinn, Quinn was the last one, right? So everyone else has, ready? Um, So I guess I'll go to wake up Quinn, but there's only an hour left, yeah? But I guess I'll wake up Quinn. Okay. Um, and I kind of touch her shoulder and kind of shake, but more gently than I've seen others do. <laughs> ah, darn it, I fell asleep again. For a while there. 
Uh, Are you yeah. okay? No. Uh, some things happened and I think I need to tell the group when everybody wakes because I don't know. Um, for for mechanical purposes, um, Lee is under the influence of a short duration bout of madness. Um, you, you're you basically kind of so traumatized by this that you're unable to listen to reason. Okay. Um, by the way, I forgot to tell you, but you took 25 points of stress damage. Okay. You definitely need next week off, Lee. <laughs> That'd be nice. Take a little, like... Uh, break from this dimension, go have some coffee, hang with friends, and come back to saving the children. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. Anyway, uh, mm, um, yeah, so if, uh, if I'm in having, like, a manic moment type vibe, um, You're definitely having a panic attack. Okay, uh, well, she'd be saying that to Quinn, but kind of disjointly, um, and saying, I, you fell asleep and then I couldn't move. And, uh, wait, sorry. So, uh, I saw the three eyed figure and then it turned into the nameless one. Or, I'm sorry, it, I. No, the three eyed figure was the silent one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, so I'd say the silent one came and attacked Sudi and then dragged her away and then she came back and I, she's sleeping now as you can see, and I think I don't know if that's Sudi, and I don't know what to do, so if we could just maybe tell everybody else, but I guess not now. I guess we should wait. I haven't slept very much. I don't know how long I've been awake, and she just kind of keeps blabbering on like that, and she's not like waiting for you to respond or giving you a time to respond, <laughs> uh, and she's like conversational level of noise, not being super quiet, but she's not like yelling either. Little grab on the shoulders, a little shake. Lee, it kind of feels like you need some sleep. Do you do you want to take a little nap and I can wake somebody up to sit with me? I mean, I I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep at this point anyway, and might as well. Everybody else has already been interrupted. I don't think that's good. I think we should just finish this long rest and just I'm telling you what happened. So the whole group needs to know and we're gonna tell them as soon as we can, but I guess we can't now and we should just finish this watch and she kind of blabbers on a little bit more. Um. Um, but I know somebody who can make you sleep. <laughs> oh, uh. Even if it feels, even if it feels like you don't want to, you know what? No, 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 no. Okay, I don't we, give you a already, chance to respond. We already woke up. We, Winona has already, she already helped. I'm good. Nona already helped me. Everything's Thanks, fine. Sorry, no, she... All's fine. What happened? Nona, I'm no, so no, sorry. No. Lee is a little bit frantic right now. And she I, doesn't want to sleep. No, I... I don't need to sleep, no, no, all is good. You can, you're good, don't worry about it. But I feel like you should do your little trick where you like to force people to sleep against their will. I, no, I would love to not do that right now. Nona, you have done enough for me. Thank you so much. I think you should sleep. Quinn, I really think Nona should sleep. We already woke her up before. Nona, I tried, I I told Quinn, <laughs> told her you need Lee, to sleep. Lee, 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 hey. What happened? What you can tell me. Uh, well, she, if like, you just put her to sleep right now, I'll do my best to tell you what little I know what happened. I would love to I don't just have the magical energy to do that right now. When everybody wakes up, I would love to tell everybody. I already told Quinn. I'll tell everybody. Quinn can tell everybody. But I just, I'm not sleeping at this point. 
No, no, I, I got some rest. I took a nap. All's good. I'm fine. You, you took sleep. a nap? He, well, not during watch before I woke up. I, I got a little, I slept a little bit earlier. Uh, and I'm not sleeping now, and I would love it if you maybe did not do anything that Quinn is telling you to do right now. <laughs> Quinn, what did she tell you? Uh, so she said the silent one woke up or came around and took Sudi and Sudi came back and laid in her bed and went to sleep. Um, and she doesn't know if it's Sudi or the silent one. And I mean, look at, look at what state she's in. You are in quite a state, Z. Have I gotten my long rest yet, Z? I feel like it's been weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn it. Can't. Don't say wake me up if anything happens. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, just, I said damn it in, in, in Chrissy, not in Nona. <laughs> um, Well, my state will still be here in an hour, <laughs> Lisa. I'm, uh... Uh, do you want me to stay up with you? I'm really, I mean, at this point, I'm fine. <laughs> she says that, not- You do not look me, fine. But she, she, she's convinced, you can tell that she wants you to go to sleep, but mm -hmm. you can also tell she's, definitely not fine when she says she's fine <laughs> all right well you can have i had there's one more good berry you can have this eat your feelings no i'm just kidding um eat your feelings <laughs> we all do it i'm about to do this i'm about to do the same thing in a second i'm gonna about to get myself some ice cream because this is fucked um <laughs> here's here's the last good berry this will make you feel a bit better um, your wound seems to have been stabilized, which is good. Can I go look at Sudi? What's, where is it? You said Sudi was taken and then she came back? She, should we wake her up? I mean, I think we should, but maybe I just, we're almost, it's almost time to wake up anyways. I just... I would like to not be alone, but I've got Quinn. I you do have Quinn. Quinn is a very good is very good company. I think maybe I don't want to necessarily see Sudi or not Sudi again right now either way. <laughs> so maybe maybe I just hang out with Quinn for just a little bit longer, and uh, everybody needs to know, and then you guys can decide what to do. I do not at this point. Z, if I do a divine sense, will that interrupt my log rest? Yes. Damn it. But see, it's like something inherent to me. It's not like a spell spell. <laughs> it's not a real spell. It's fine. <sighs> I need sleep. God damn it. All right. I can't do, I can't, I can't divine sense right now because I'm so fucking tired. Um, all right. Well, as long as nobody is actively trying to kill each other I can I can I can cast all the spells I need to in the morning and by in the morning I mean in one hour okay. I mean you're right you're right I I can sorry no 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 thank you thank you for telling me um I Unfortunately, the sleep spell doesn't really give anybody restful sleep, and it only lasts for a minute. So, um, again, I apologize for casting on it on you. It was wrong of me, and I won't do it again. Even if you need sleep, I won't do it. Even if you ask, I'll figure out something else, and I won't cast sleep with you. Oh, you won't force it upon anybody. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hey, you taught me Sorry, a valuable you lesson. You've taught me a valuable lesson. I'm trying to follow your, your lead.
Do you guys need anything else before I I think I'm oh. good. What does Suri look like? Can I can I look over in her direction? Is she like pristine, sleeping like a baby? Make an investigation check. Will that interrupt my long rest? Maybe. No, Z. <laughs> no. I'm just glancing over. It's perception. Oh, you're just glancing? Okay. Yeah. Make I'm not going to get up. Okay. And that won't interrupt my long rest because I'm not doing anything. Need, need my spell slots, damn it. She needs to restore that sweet, sweet magic juice. All right. That is a 20. She looks like Sudi. Mm hmm. And Nona goes back to sleep? And Nona goes back to sleep. Okay. Uh, back to Quinn and Lee, right? Lee would start pacing after this. Quee. Okay. I'm trying to pay more attention to the surroundings. And um, all right, Quinn. Constitution saving throw. Lee. Constitution saving throw at advantage. Hi. Okay. 24. Quinn is just a sleepy gnome. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get, Lee? Uh, with advantage. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe you need new die, Triana. Yeah, you need new dice. All three need, of them don't work. <laughs> you need um coffee like colored dice specifically that will give you twenties, but only <laughs> if they are for staying awake. Okay, I have to type something real quick. <clears throat> okay so once again partway through the watch Lee you notice Quinn doze off back to sleep <laughs> as soon as I notice that whether or not I've caught it um, I'd say Quinn Qu Qu Quinn <laughs> kind of loud whispering uh, don't know if that does anything. If not, I'd immediately go over to her and try and wake maybe more anxiously and I would hope quickly than before. Okay. Um, Quinn? Oh, if I just dozed off, I would I guess that I would wake up right away. Okay. The remainder of the hour goes by fairly uneventful. Do you start waking up the rest of the party? I do not wake Sudi up. I wake up everybody else before Sudi. <laughs> Can I investigate Sudi before anybody wakes her up? Maybe we maybe we'll wait to wake up Sudi until the rest of the group is up and I'll let him know what happened first. Oh yeah. But he wakes up and keeps going, and she just stays sleeping there. Stitcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Uh, we would do that either. Um, but uh, but you, yeah, you wake up everybody else? Yeah, but I would ignore her for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Let her keep sleeping. Um, okay. Yeah, wake up everybody else first. Okay, so 
Um, as you wake up everybody else, I need constitution saving throws for Lee. Uh, oh, just Lee, I guess. 23. 23. You um, did not complete a long rest. However, you do not accrue a level of exhaustion. Neat. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. And then everybody, I think at this point, is awake except for Sudi. Okay. So I think everybody kind of knows it well. Quinn knows I'm going to say something. Nona, I'm sure, probably knows I'm going to say something. Um, so I kind of prevent all of you guys from waking up Sudi, and I just say, I just need to fill you guys in on what happened. Um, also, ha like, half of you guys don't know what went on with my head. <laughs> um, also, Nona, <laughs> fully rested, will now lay on hands the rest of what you need. Um, well, she wouldn't know that. She'll give you five, five more points. Okay. Uh, I will do that now. Um, so can I just skip over the, well, I mean, do and you guys want to the uh, Oh no, yeah. I definitely want to hear you tell me how this goes. <laughs> you can paraphrase it. Um, Well, actually, Lee would kind of want to skip over that part, so if you guys were questioning her, she'd be, like, kind of getting to the point of, I need to tell you guys what happened when I was on my watch. Quinn fell asleep. Quinn! And that's not the, just, when she <laughs> fell asleep, that's not the, just hear me out. <laughs> uh, Sudi, the, the, the silent one came and grabbed Sudi, but I could not move at all when this happened and so he was dragged away and it seemed like forever still could not move and then at some point she just walked right back into camp and went to sleep and i don't know i i don't know what happened but i need you guys to know that that is what i saw and we're just letting this person sleep here well all right no i'm gonna do a divine sense right the fuck now <laughs> i'm not waking her up i just i'm kind of <laughs> all right Maybe need a break from City. Uh, right now. I'm I'm gonna sense I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some sensing. Which is different than incensing. Mm -hmm. Little little grandma like that little paladin. You better be sensed right. than incensed. This is not about you right now at all. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so she will do a divine sense. Sock it to me. Also, she she winked at me. That's fucked. <laughs> Judy doesn't wink. Your, your divine sense doesn't detect anything. Okay. So I'm not sensing the 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 the, the three-eyed bitch. And I'm not sensing any sort of celestial or um or uh fiend or undead so what we're getting at is lee's head wound is getting to her what we're getting at is that sudi is not an active danger to us right now and neither is anybody else because everybody is who they say they are as far as not being a celestial fiend or undead. Paula, uh, that's a, oddly dealt, specific. Y'all dealt with the silent one before. Did any of y'all figure out any weaknesses that maybe if if that is a silent one, maybe it would react? I can sense the silent one when I open my mind to stuff. I'm not been able to be waking up now hearing the voices. Yeah, I, I think so. That's reasonable because they, they yeah. didn't say they were making a point of being quiet. So 
I'd say under my breath quickly as I notice Sudi waking up, if I do, I'd say just note that if Sudi thinks you're not you, then she's quick to react. <laughs> and I say that kind of with an angry voice a little bit. As Sudi gets to her feet, she glances around. It's a little strange that they all got up before her. And then when she spots Lee, her eyes kind of narrow in distrust. Sudi, uh, who says that you might have been injured last night? Sudi glances at himself. How are you feeling? I am not injured. That's great. How, how are you feeling? Rested. Fantastic. Um, I would return a glare if, if Sudi glared at her. <laughs> Nona, Nona, maybe they yeah. need to do like the Tai Chi together. Oh, like a bonding, like a bonding exercise. They're young and not used to this, like, kind of stuff. And obviously, they have one to be over tied together. Oh, that's how they I, become best friends. Like, it makes, like the angry oh. shirts. Yeah, the angry shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to do that to. Wait, what? To to to. Oh well. Okay. When your so, siblings are arguing, mm -hmm. they put you in the same shirt and make you wear the same big shirt together until you're less mad at each other do you know how long that takes for so long fucking ever <laughs> no but you know what wouldn't happen you wouldn't fall asleep on watch <laughs> the i have um my the two two grandkids yuki and yari and they fight all the time they're twins is that what mm -hmm. was happening in town the other day when they were walking by and they were like struggling i thought yeah. that they were just playing under a cape you had them in the arguing shirt i did i did that was all day nona it took them all day. all day yeah what if they had to pee that's weird there should be a limit i'm just saying i there mean I didn't we might be getting a bit of take it off stray right now. Edie, did you sleep okay? Any weird dreams? No, that I can recall. I slept fine. Did Please. did something happen to anyone else besides? Interesting thing about recalling dreams. Um, none of you can recall having dreams last night at all. In fact, some of your most dearly held memories seem to be fleeting just at the edge of your consciousness as uh, if as if those memories are fading is that why i had to just look up the names of my twin grandkids <laughs> yes yes in fact you you were having trouble remembering these names that you shouldn't Good thing I have my family tree tattooed on my arm. <laughs> it's not actually. Could a dream still subconsciously affect our view of others? Because yeah. I rolled a d4 to see what kind of dream Sudi had, and that's affecting her view of Lee. Yeah. Um, the thing is, so you, you didn't have any of the like typical dreams that you've been having while you've been in the roaming forest, but rather you seem to you seem to have lost some real memories. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll leave that to you to determine what those memories were, but they're gone. I feel like Mavly and, and, and Ellie are used to this by now. <laughs> Rolling with the punches, Z. We rolling with it. <laughs> is it fucked up? Then it's normal here. Have this, a great this day. Is, this is more so to the more than like things that you forget during normal, you know, passage Asian. of time. Mm -hmm. This is like you know that something is missing mm -hmm. that you should know, but it's not there. So, Wid, 
I know you slept pretty, pretty well. Did you have any dreams? Uh, Wid is holding her handmade yarn in her hand uh, and touching it and doesn't say anything. She just keeps trying to make sure that it's there. Also, who's Huckleby? Do I still know Z? <laughs> um, that's up to you. Uh, I'll let you decide which memories that you lost. They just need to be significant. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's what she's got right now. Um, can someone jog our memory, like with a name, or is it just gone? When if they jog your memory, you become more aware that the memory is gone, but you can't recall the specifics of it. Uh. Wid starts to cry slowly and doesn't say anything. I'm gonna look at Oda. I'm not gonna look at Wid. And I'm gonna go over to Wid and I'm gonna be like, is a hug okay? I don't know what to do. I didn't mean it. I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna ask anybody it. else about dreams anymore. Okay. I fucked up. No, no, fix it. Okay, fuck up. Everything is. I don't know. Nothing's your fault. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. We just uh, Wid does pet you in a way that might be familiar, Mavly. <laughs> Snuggles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These damned woods, they're messing with our brains. We just need to keep moving, I think. Do we know if we could ever remember proper again? I think that uh, just as there is fog here, it is clouding our sight and our minds. Perhaps once we get clear of it, clear of this whole place, our sight will be restored. We won't know until we get there, so let's go. All right. Scrolling up, scrolling up. I, I don't, you guys, a lot kind of happened in a very short, short period. Anybody else kind of feel that, that way? I'm ready to be done with this place. We should move as fast as we can. Well, we remember why we're here. Lisa's kind of sullenly. If Quinn hasn't given that doll to it yet, she'll do it and make it. Oh, yeah. oh Miavli's a little creepy out by that and just kind of steps away. Just a little. <laughs> See, thank you. I, is this for a certain purpose? I, I hope it brings you some comfort, most of all, but also it's, it's, Hope for when we find the kids that we can return it back to them too. She will wrap her yarn around it so it's protected and then put it in her bag full of soft things. Bag full of soft things. Or maybe she stuck it in a stock. I don't know. Like a sleeping bag. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> hey, Lee. Yeah? Can I borrow your chisel and for just a little bit? Uh, she, Lee was not, what, 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 I mean, you can, what for? I'm a little. I, just, I have an inspiration of something that I really want to carve and it's been a really long, my stuff's gone. Nothing, I, I'm not even mad about it. I'm a little mad about it, but I'm not really mad about it. Otherwise I just use my own stuff. Lee, Lee rummages through her bag and gives her a scrap piece of wood if she is not holding one already. And um, one of her, her less favorite uh, carving tools. I totally <laughs> recognize that. 
We'll make do though. You might be impressed. I, uh, <laughs> while we're walking, I would like to like randomly be carving a, a like the symbol of Ilmater and make it kind of fancy. Ooh. Okay. Lee would be very impressed <laughs> if you pull it off. <laughs> I've done it before. Yeah. Well, while Mavly's skills are not specialized um, with wood, but rather with stone, she she does seem to work with wood with um, maybe exceptional ease, like uh, in a practiced sense that she's used to working with um, harder materials. So maybe there's like, you know, a push that's a little too hard but quickly realizes, oh, I don't need to put quite as much force in there. It'll gently, not <laughs> petrified, got it, check, soft wood. So as the party travels onward, leaving your camp, you follow the path through the burnt forest. And as you travel onward, the tree bark begins to resemble bone and flesh, oozing with blood and pus. That, that smells great. Over the next two hours, the trees themselves begin to change from black to a new variety of white almost bony and ridged, while others appear soft and pale. Long, dark strands of moss almost resemble hair. The trees here feel almost sickly, covered in pustule-like knobs filled with a liquid that sloshes every time the trees shift during the still present breathing of the forest, which becomes more and more frequent. Um, Mavly, Quinn, Sudi, Edie, and Wid specifically begin to see faces in the trees. and you're overwhelmed with a sense of foreboding. Do you recognize any of the faces? You do not recognize the faces, but you feel like you should. When do you see that? Mm. I'm honestly trying not to. Okay. Judy slows and keeps looking at one of them with a confused expression on her face. Judy, are you coming? She nods and she follows a little bit faster but keeps looking back. I'm, you know, I find that looking looking back is generally not the don't don't do the that. Why not look back? I just think here might be a bad idea for the back looking, more better for the forward looking. The back looking might see be. When you see them moving or swaying, does it? seem like they're getting closer to us all at all. It doesn't seem like the roots of the trees are moving. It's just like as this wind is blowing, it's swaying the, the tree as a whole, right? Uh, wind picks up the pace. Are you in front? I, maybe now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're in the back, that'd be kind of funny. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where Birds she is. everybody forward. But uh, she's definitely in a rush to get out of here. Yeah, what, what is our, our kind of marching order? Not exactly. Yes, Sudi would be near the front, so we could probably well, keep an eye on I her. I was thinking before uh, Sudi was just after Lee, and I think Lee would want to keep away from Sudi this time, but Sudi wants to keep an eye on Lee. Lee would be vocally opposed with the rest of the group. Oh, you guys might need to work that out. <laughs> Nona, Nona can be between you guys. Maybe Mavli can join me. I don't I care which one of you goes first, was. but one of you needs to go first. I do not have all day. So I just need a, need a little break because I did not really sleep last night. So some space would be great. She says as she like stares at Sudi directly as she says some space would be great. <laughs> Sudi steps forward to take the front, but whispers to Mavli, watch her. Watch for eyes. Ah. I'll be near the front, too. DM question, did we mark a long rest on our sheets? Uh, all of you except for Lee. Okay. Is that because of what happened? Because she did have two full sleep cycles before her. Correct. Okay. Just want to make sure understanding the rules. I take it as a, I got a short nap in without any long rest attributes. Yeah. Avli's gonna kind of pat pat Lee on the shoulder and kind of look up at her. You doing okay? I'm holding in there. I'm uh... gonna kiss, press the digitation every few seconds and try to clean that up a little. For the blood. <laughs> that would be Avli. <laughs> She'd be a little less testy because she's literally crusty right now. So <laughs> she's not. <laughs> Not too enthused about that. Pretty At least gross. she blended in with the trees. <laughs> what kind of faces are the trees making? Can we tell from however close or far we are from them? Their they're faces of people that you feel like you should know, but you don't recognize them. But you should. Do they look scared or mad or um variety and they're and they never seem to be in the same expression each time you look at them does anybody else kind of you know when you hear a voice and it seems familiar but you turn and then you realize it's not the person you thought it was have you ever had that feeling Goody nods. i don't really smells. interact with people Oh, God, Wid, I just love you more every day and <laughs> understand those feelings. Like when I, I keep seeing these flickers of faces kind of out in the woods, and when I look, I feel like I should know who it is, but I don't. And it's really, I'm kind of having trouble breathing through it. So, you know, keeping an eye on Lee is a much better plan than watching not Lee. But I feel mm -hmm. like if I just stare at Lee, it might get a little creepy after a while wid and nona are not seeing these faces by the way oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she wants to set the trees on fire a little bit less than <laughs> <laughs> maybe 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 variety so staring at lee's face and then and then sudi making sure she's great and then, and then are you Quinn seeing what lee. are you do you, are you, do you see them? Um, not particularly, but again, like I said, I'm trying not to look. Oh, <clears throat> is that working? So far. I will try not looking. But listening. 
Mandley the like closes most, her eyes almost the whole way. The eyes of the the least reliable sense that we have. What? Don't trust what you see. I I you realize I, that I, that's what I do for a living, right? Like I build things people can see. That's my job. But you can also feel them, right? And when you hit the stone, you can hear how it will break. And, and, and when you work with different materials, the dust that sprays at you will taste certain different ways, right? You use all your senses. And but when the... you look at random crap, what sense do you use when you look at it? The one that can be tricked the most easily. So are you saying that what I do is basically fucking with people? No, because your art is honest. I'm talking about these evil things that are out here trying to make us miserable. And I feel like you're messing with me a little bit. And I'm okay I'm with sorry. that for right now. Okay, well. That's way better than anything else that might be go how are you not bothered by because i swear to you i feel like i should know who that is <laughs> quinn do you recognize maybe, are you seeing maybe, maybe it's somebody you've carved before and as she's gesturing at this tree where supposedly there's a face nona you don't see anything mm -hmm, i mean mm -hmm. i mean it's clearly upsetting and disturbing with like the postules and you know the bone fleshy bark but yeah she's going you know. to interpret this as like oh look at the cloud it looks like a dragon sort of thing mm -hmm. a little confused about recognizing like like i we can see faces in most things the rock um, on mars lee <laughs> as she's hearing the talk of recognition with the trees thinks to the the path that we've been following of, of uh, footprints this whole time and wants to investigate and check and see if that's still on the ground as expected or if anything has changed. All right, make a survival check, please. Any good idea. <laughs> Six. Also, she doesn't say anything when she's doing that, but if she didn't notice something, she would then talk about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as Lee kind of discreetly checks the ground for tracks, um, you don't spot any obvious tracks. Okay. I bet Lee would kind of maybe you're not on the right path. Where did the where did the footprints go? She kind of stops in her tracks as she realizes she didn't doesn't see anything. Whoever's behind me would. <laughs> I stop. We do the thing where like we're we're close together and then someone stops suddenly and everyone kind of bumps into each other. <laughs> Except I think Lee's toward the back. Yeah. Ludi, she said a weird thing. Um I think we should all look for these tracks. I will roll a survival. Ludi looks for tracks too, since she's in the front and should be able to see by this. All right, so Nona, do so. Actually, I'll say Sudi, do it at advantage. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah, as so as Sudi looks more closely at the ground, um, the the tracks aren't obvious, but you manage to convince yourself that you do in fact see. Um, what is most likely tracks? I, I think they're still here. They're here. Lee's eyes grow as Sudi is the one who answers. I certainly don't see them. Nona? Or wait, well, was Nona, Nona was Nona was looking. Okay. Yeah. I was looking, but I was helping Sudi. Right, so you would have provided the same result as Sudi did. Okay, yeah. No, I, I, they're just very faint. Um, perhaps it, it is much harder to see them after we've walked over them, for sure. Well, here, 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 look. Um, 
and 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 she'll like point to frankly you might be concussed honey have you ever been hit on the head really hard before not with something other than a fist she says and she glares at Sudi. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, that this can really cause concussions too, depending. I mean, obviously you haven't been like punched by a dwarf who meant it before. But uh I'm just saying that sometimes after a head wound, the next couple of days are really extra hard and you get kind of dizzy sometimes and you don't always see things straight. And sometimes you can catch things out of the side of your out of your peripheral, but you know, I am not concussed and that's still happening, so maybe this is not a good metric. Well, I didn't get much, so I'll take Nona's word for it. Sudi, or it's not Sudi, uh, Lee's being really passive aggressive to Sudi now because she wasn't super mad at first when she got hit, but since Sudi was like not very, uh, like, reacted with suspicion rather than assistance, and she doesn't know if it's Sudi right now, so she's now just like straight up being passive aggressive to Sudi. <laughs> And Sudi wouldn't expect any less from a monster with three eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sudi, the, the, the silent one is not here. I checked. You don't have to be worried about uh, Well, she, she didn't say that. She just thinks that. Okay, but did, you, did Sudi hear Nona say that? That the silent one's not here? Yeah. No, she was asleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause. Okay. Well, you can you can always ask. <laughs> Cause you know Nona can do that. Nona has done it before. You just know that you're good at finding the silent one. I am. You're probably gonna find her any minute now. <laughs> Uh, did we start moving again? Because Lid would make sure that happened if we didn't. Yeah, I think so. You tell me. Yeah, I guess, Ali, would you agree to keep moving? Do you take Nona's word for it and continue trudging along? Okay. After about another hour, the party starts to hear rasping whispers among the forest. And they seem to grow a little bit louder. Specifically to one side of the trail or the path. A question about the faces? Which someone forgot a family member, would the others recognize that that face looks like their face? Um, say that again? If someone, I, I assume these faces are people we've forgotten. But if You're some, not sure. Well, I was thinking if that was the case, then if somebody forgot like the face of their dad and there's a family resemblance, would we see if any the other people see a family resemblance? Um, I don't think it's that obvious, no. Okay. Are any of them a sheep? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One is just fluffy, like wool, not flesh. There there you go. They said voices off the path. I, I posted a picture in Discord. <laughs> Cozy. That's a fun thing to say that. Do you, do, you, do you think we could end up that way? Uh, I hope not. You don't know. You can't see it. <laughs> and it, gradually you hear the rasping whispers begin to get louder and louder. Is 
Sudi Everybody or just the people who saw the faces? All of you. From what direction? You said it's coming from a specific side. Yeah, it's coming from the right right side of the path. Sudi tries to make out what they're saying. It doesn't seem to be coherent, but it's it's very clearly um, whispers, indecipherable. Then after pausing, Sudi continues moving forward. Okay. Lee would probably stop if she heard whispering and and talk to the group and say, are we all hearing? We're all hearing this, right? I'm certainly I'm yes, I think it is some animal. I think it's something behind that invisible mist that we all experience. Well, that I experienced. Remember when I went off the trail that one time? I feel like there might be things behind it that we can't see. Well, I, I think, think we should that. stay on the trail, but Lee peers out and just checks once more that she can't see anything beyond the mist or anything noticeably different from Right. Uh, Lee, I would like you to make a charisma saving throw, please. Not again. <laughs> That's right, my best one. And I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you, you look out towards the, what, what you perceive as the source of the whispering. And as you do so, your gaze catches, your, your gaze is caught by the tree immediately to the side of the path. And as this ha happens, you, you like make eye contact with one of these faces and you become overcome with despair. Am I seeing the faces? You, I wasn't seeing the faces before. Uh, you did see the faces, yeah. I was seeing the faces? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, you become overcome with despair um, for one minute, and you have disadvantage on attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. And you can repeat your saving throw at the end of every turn. Okay? Uh, you said attack rolls, uh, saving throws, and... Uh... And ability checks. Okay. As one of the branches or tendrils quips out at you, and is going to make two melee attacks against you as you are caught off guard. Neat. And that is a 26 to hit. For eight points of slashing damage for the first one. Eight points of slashing damage. You're collecting those, huh? Eight points of slashing damage. And then the second one is a 22 to hit. I'm going to use my helm. Or seven points of slashing damage. Uh, which one? My helm? Yeah, for which attack? The first one. Okay. Uh, and remind me, you take a d6, right? Um... You take the damage of the attack plus a d6, correct? Oh, hold on, let me read it. Because I thought it was a D8. Maybe but it's a D8. It might be a D8. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Um, no, it's a D6. You're right. Okay. All right. So you did it on the first attack? Mm hmm. Okay. So um, instead of Lee, taking the damage from the first swipe, Nona will take that damage plus, ouch, an additional six points Ooh. of slashing well, damage. As Nona blinks into existence in front of Lee with, um, by intercepting the first attack and then the second tendril uh, swings out and does in fact hit Lee. And I would like at this point, everybody to roll initiative as that was the initial surprise. Um, what, what was the total uh, damage? 
Uh, eight. It was eight plus six. Nineteen. Additional <clears throat> um six, just because I'm curious. I accidentally hit it twice. I didn't mean to, uh, okay. but I rolled a five. Sudi's at nineteen. Edie is five. five. Uh, Wit is three, and I'm gonna go feed my cat. So I'm gonna be away for a minute. And can we attack the trees without going off the path? Uh, yes, it's immediately off the side of the path. Okay, so I have Sudi, Edie, Madly, Wid. Um, Nona got a 13. Quinn is 7. Ooh, you guys are rolling great. A round is 6 seconds, and I'm going to be in despair for a minute. Um, yes, but you can remake that saving throw every turn. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, at the top of the round, we have Sudi going first by a long shot. <clears throat> okay. She <clears throat> quickly crouches down to be more out of the way of swinging branches and does a spinning stroke with her naginata. This is going into her spider mode, AKA rage. And she's also attacking recklessly. Okay. Wait, I got a, I got a 21 for initiative, just so I just wanna make sure I'm at least in the thing. Oh, sorry. Did you tell me that? <laughs> uh, I did, but I, I don't, that's cool. I just, as long as I'm in the order. <laughs> oh, so, so initiative is also a disadvantage. That's an ability check. Oh, I didn't. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't actually know that. That is good to know. Okay, so let me roll my second. Okay, I got a ten, so I'm actually ten. <laughs> okay. I got a seventeen to attack. Okay, seventeen to hit. Let me pull up my thing here again. Uh, 17 is going to hit. Okay. And this says plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Mm -hmm. But since I'm using a normally strength weapon with a finey trait, that right. doesn't count. So, so this is going to this is going to fall on to what you and I talked about when we were, if you recall. I didn't recall that point of whether it applies to how it applies to rage. Yes, it, it would apply to your specific weapon just okay. with that Naginata. So I add two? Yeah. Is this just a specific tree attacking us? It is one flesh tree. Yes. Well then Eight. that's six damage. Okay, six damage. It does not appear to do as much damage as you expect it to do. Uh, next up, we have Nona at 13. Okay. Um, does it look like it can move? Like, like uproot itself? Um, Is there like creaking and like dirt? being disturbed it it is very clearly moving on its own accord right but it doesn't okay i guess the better the better question is um what does its range look like so like if you want an, if you want like an a detailed investigation you can use your turn to investigate i'm just trying to see how far i need to take my people away to then for it to incur an opportunity attack. I think in order to do that, you I need, would still you need to okay. make a roll, yeah. Okay. Well. Because that's that's asking for like specific combat knowledge. You're right. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll do that. 
Okay, uh, go ahead and make. Make, uh, I think, an investigation check. All right. That is a 20. Okay. Um, it, it's tendrils slash branches appear to be pretty long. Mm-hmm. Um, your guess is probably we're talking about a reach of between 15 to 20 feet. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's what I'll give you. Uh, thank you for the present. Um, okay. So, <sighs> okay. On the 20 investigation check. Could I also glance around to see if any of the other trees look like they're going to attack us? In the immediate vicinity, it seems like only one of them has come to life. Okay. I'm cruel, but I'm not that cruel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know what kind of a gauntlet you wanted just to go on. Um, I mean, I can make it harder if you want. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so she's gonna be like we don't have to fight this we all we need to do is get out of its reach but but it can reach maybe as much as 20 feet so we need to move now and she's going to then um make sure she's positioning herself in front of people and then start kind of not actively shoving to the point where it I, it's an action, but just like kind of moving everybody in that direction. <laughs> You're trying to usher people along. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, and she also has her shield up. Okay. So right. our mechanically, tell me what this is. Is this the dodge action or is this oh, I already did my action. Oh, sorry. You're right. Are you doing a bonus action? Um, I forgot about those. Give me a second. I don't think so. Um, well, actually, mm, bonus action, lay on hands to myself for like three points. Three points? Okay, so you've used eight total today. Okay, and about how far are you going to move? I'm not moving. Um, I'm putting myself in front of everybody else as a protection. Okay, great. So I'm not, I'm not running away from the fight. I am telling everyone to run away from the fight. Great. Um, Lee, you're up. Um, is Nona directly behind me? I'm in front of you now. I think she just stepped in front of you. Okay. Um, so are you going to be at a disadvantage? I would take that advice because um, in, in Lee's head, she's kind of like, fuck this. But maybe, well, yeah, no, she would, I guess, say that statement. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so she... Um, let's see. So I'm within range, so would have to disengage to not get opportunity attack, or if, if I use dash, I would make an opportunity attack for the, uh, the tree, right? Probably. Okay, um, I'm going to just listen to Nona <laughs> and disengage as my action and just say let's go and then uh let's see am i who's last am i last i think you are last yeah okay so i would um disengage and uh how big is nona i am smaller than you if i'm gonna the record this this tree is like along the side kind of directly adjacent to the center of the group. 
So to go to get away from it moving forward would have to be like moving moving toward it first. Mm hmm Correct. Okay. Yeah, at um, some point if we're moving away from it, we are gonna have to uh invoke that opportunity attack unless you think we can kill it. I'm gonna uh use my movement and use half like take Nona with me since uh she's right next to me. All right, so you're going to dash? Um I'm not gonna dash uh because I disengaged as my action, so I've got 30 feet is my speed normally. So I'd like to just take Nona with me for half that at 15. If that's right. So in, in order to take somebody with you, that is your action. Okay, never mind. Um you don't have to take me with you. She might actually, if she's feisty enough, she's feeling feisty, she might fight you on it. So just think. Yeah, uh well. I guess I, I've got a question. If you're readying something, can I can I get ready to just dodge? Is that so, would that be action? So dodge is typically an action that that when you take the dodge action, it gives all attacks against you disadvantage. If you ready the dodge action, it functions exactly the same. Um, it just uses it as your reaction. So you're actually better off just using the dodge action and then you also have a reaction. Yeah, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna have my sword at the ready. Sword and, or sorry, sword and shield at the ready. Um, and I am going to uh dodge so I can have my reaction and I'm gonna move 30 feet ahead as long as um, I'm not significantly ahead of the group. I'd like to stay kind of at least within like 10 feet roughly of the group. Yeah, so 30 feet, that'll move you 15 feet um, forward to where you're directly adjacent from the tree and then 15 feet further. So at this point, you're, you're about um, adjacent to uh, whoever was at the front of the party, which I believe was no, 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 was at the back. I like this. Stay with him. at the front. Yeah. Within five feet of whoever's in front. Even so, yeah, you're you're now within five feet of Sudi. Um, but if you drift in ten feet, you can still hit you. Okay. Uh, any anything okay. else? Uh, <laughs> nope. She's begrudgingly staying in a position where she can help the group at this point, which okay. expired. Great. <laughs> Great. Next up, we have Quinn. Um, so what's ahead of us that I see? I mean, if ahead of Quinn you wanted... is more of the forest this flesh tree forest. Okay. Is there a way if Quinn wanted to dash as an action and bonus action hide that there's something that she could crouch behind? If you want to leave the path, absolutely. I don't. You are a gnome. So you can hide behind uh, medium creatures. I'm up in the front there next to Sudi. <laughs> so you could hide I... behind Sudi or Lee because they're both humans. Uh, Wid is up there too. Also Wid. Okay, so I will use my action to attack and I will shoot a crossbow. So uh, are, are you hiding first? I'm going to hide after. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll okay. the hit. I got a dirty 20. That will certainly hit. Uh, 
Uh, for six points. Six points. As your arrow thuds into the tree, it has seemingly hit bone slash wood and doesn't seem to do as much damage as you would expect. Yeah, I'm going to use my bonus to hide. Okay, bonus action hide. So as you're going up, I'm assuming beyond uh, where Sudi and Lee are, so you're going past them and putting them between you and the tree, correct? Um, correct. I think I'm not understanding how we are. I thought we were in a line and the tree was like off the path in front of us. It's directly off the path beside you. So I was already up there near the front with Sudi. So mm -hmm. I just want to move. Behind yeah, her. just kind of step on the other side of Sudi so that she's between you and the tree. Right. Okay. Sorry, Sudi. Yeah. So going with that, what what is happening is you are leaving the tree's um, reach, and so it is going to take an attack of opportunity on you. Um, I rolled a two plus nine. That's an eleven. And Lee is, if assuming she's also within five feet, like Sudi is, she's gonna have that be a disadvantage due to her protection style of attack. Ah, right, your protection. So you're using your reaction to impose disadvantage? Uh, yes. Okay, so that is gonna miss Quinn. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check. See how well you hide. And next up, we have Edie. He is going to go into a rage, but it's you know, like when someone's scared and they're lashing out. Mm -hmm. Her rage is sort of looking like that. She's got more out of uh, fear. Yeah, kind of like a cornered and cat kind of thing. Kill this thing fast. Yeah. Um, then we'll see the, the damage this tree is doing, how profane it is. Attack it with the Warhammer. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. Is a uh, 14. 14 just misses. Right? Anything else? Tree? Don't think there's anything. Natural big. armor. I'll just shout at the party and say, We either fat this thing off or we run. Either way, we do this quick. Okay. Uh, next up is the tree. First off, it is going to use, I will roll a d4 here, is going to use the gaze of lethargy on one, two, three. This is going to be Mavly. Um, make a charisma saving throw, please. Oh, make me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, that's not terrible. 15? 15. 15 is what you needed. <laughs> I'm amazing. Okay. okay, and it is then going to lash out with its tendrils also at Mavly. Oh, for the love. Um, the first one is a 27 to hit. Gee, you think? The second one is a 16. Also, yes. Okay. Um, 
So the first one is nine points of piercing damage. Ouch. And the next one is um, 14 points. Do I still have my reaction? Because technically I use my reaction on a surprise round. Yes, this is a new round, so yeah. Okay. Oh! Um, I Did I miss, should I have done a save, a uh, Christmas save, to see if I was no longer at disadvantage? Yes, at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I do that real quick still? So? Um, I will uh, channel Divil Divinity Rebuke the Violent, which won't, uh, won't prevent any of your damage, unfortunately, madly, but, but it will make me a bigger target so. so what exactly does that do um so uh after an attacker within 30 feet deals damage with an attack against a creature other than you you can use your reaction to force the attacker to make a wisdom saving throw on a failure the attacker takes radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt and half damage on a success nice okay well that was in that one so it takes 15 Radiant. Yep. And that's all my channel divinities for this short rest. Okay. Um and that is it for the tree's turn. Next up, we have Mavly. How's Mavly looking after getting hit by that tree? Mavly collapses flat. Mavly. Oh, Mavly's unconscious. Where is she right now in the order and uh, roughly how far from me? Natalie's kind of in the middle. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> On my next turn, I can do something about that. Okay. Um, I will take care of the death save here. Uh, next up, we have... Hang on, real quick. So, I, I can't really do anything in that situation, right? Correct. Yep. Um, um, actually, I need. Hang on, I have to look something up real quick. Here we go. Okay, um, real quick, I need Nona to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And Wid, you're going to be up next. It's a 23. Okay. Um, Wid, what are you doing? Uh, Wid is going to create a bonfire at the base of the tree. Okay. Okay. And it has to make a deck saving throw, correct? Yes, of 13. It is not good at deck saving throws. That is a three. All right. One um, sorry, Nona, you take, uh, you take eight damage, psychic damage. 
from just looking at a tree? Yep. <laughs> this is what started. Uh, the, tr the tree takes three points of damage. Let's see. The tree takes three points of damage, which seems to uh, ignite a part of the tree doing a bit more than three points of damage. Noise. All right. And if it, if it ends its turn, it takes 1d8 every time. Yeah, awesome. Anything else? Nope, just going to stay there and watch it burn. All right, new round, Sudi. Well, since Sudi still believes that we're all moving past it, um, she wants to hold her action and her movement until they move past her so that she can hold the rear, so to speak. Plus, Quinn's still hiding behind her. She's not going to run off. With Quinn's behind her. We, had, we had like one goal, and that was like Nona telling us to leave. Yes. And not a single mm -hmm. one of us went anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, go over that one more time for me. So Sudi is going to hold her action movement and bonus action all because she expects people to be moving past her, and then she'll catch up with them because she can catch up really well. Okay, so how how ready action works is you 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 use your action so that you can use so that you can make an attack or cast a spell as a reaction. So you can't like hold your whole turn. You can hold an action to use it as a reaction. I can't just let others move before me. No, unfortunately, you can't. Okay. Because technically, all of this is happening simultaneously, right? Mm -hmm. uh, can she, if she moves her place well, in the initiative order going forward? No. Okay, I guess maybe that was house rules then. Yeah, Th that's not really house rules. That's rules as written. Okay, so, but Mavly can't move, right? Mavly is face down in the okay. dirt. Then Sudi will first attack the tree with her action. Mm -hmm. So attack. And she's still being reckless right now. No, wait. Yes, yeah, she would. Okay, so that's a 23 to attack. 23 is going to hit. Okay. And that is 12. 12 points of damage, which doesn't seem oh, no, to be... 14 because she's still aging. Right. Okay. Which doesn't seem to do, again, as much as you think it should. Okay. Um, Nona, al along with this, like, psychic damage that you felt, sorry, I forgot to say this before, but you hear this, like, whisper in your mind that says he sees you without sight walking in darkness walking in light in moments of joy or moments grim answer me now do you seek him and that's when the blast of psychic energy hits you <coughs> um and go ahead uh, anything and else in your turn she'll grab mavly and dash So in order to pick up another person, yeah, I guess she, hmm. Grab a boot and go. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll allow that because Mavly is unconscious. So yeah, it would be just like picking up an object, yeah. And she can use dash as a bonus action when raging. Oh, okay, yeah, awesome. So you move 30 feet. Uh, you are, however, going to trigger an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, that is a seven plus nine, so 16. Will 16 hit? Barely. Does yeah. that hit okay. Navely too? Oh, I can't take extra damage. I guess. Uh, no, it will, it will hit uh, Sudi in the back, basically. So that is eight points of piercing, okay. slashing damage. 
And the uh, reckless would have done disadvantage, but the rage would have done advantage, so it evens out. I mean, the other way around, but yeah. No, you don't have to roll again. That's what I'm saying. Well, you, you attacked <laughs> recklessly? Yeah, but she also is raging, which, which her ability gives her, says they oh. have disadvantage. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's a it's a homebrewed class. I'm still working on it. <laughs> this is the eagle trait. Right. Yep. Okay. Um. Next up, we have. Let's see, Sudi. After Sudi, we have Nona. Okay, so Mavly is gone now, and I can't heal her anymore. Mavly has been carried away by Sudi. Cool. 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 Why hasn't anyone? She yeah. Well, All right. she she has run. She's fifteen feet ahead of you at this point. Oh, I wasn't talking about Sudi. I was just talking about Let's everyone see. else that's still here. Oh yeah. Um. All right. Who's who's next to me? I'm. I can't physically move forcibly move Wid. I won't try that. Yeah. Um, so directly beside you, you were in the back of the group. I'd say mm -hmm. the closest person to you at this point is uh, either Edie or Wid. All right, um, Edie, we gotta get out of here. Wid, come on. And she's going to, uh, she's gonna try and, and take Edie with her. Okay. Edie's resisting, Edie wants to finish this thing off. <laughs> okay, so this this is resisting. Nona is not expecting her to resist, so um, I need you to make a grapple check. Is that a strength? Is that an athletics check? It is an athletics check, yep. Okay. Uh, and Edie will resist with either strength athletics. Uh, you are raging, so you get advantage on that. Oh, she doesn't need it. I got a four. Yeah, I don't think I needed that. First roll was already in that 20, for a total of 24. Yeah. Okay. So, Nona, is, as you run past trying to grab on to Edie, she just yanks her arm out of your grip, um, seemingly not willing to go along with you. Okay. Well, she's small and can probably dodge really well. Um... This thing can't stand. We can't let this thing still stand it won't it'll burn down we just don't want to be in the, the vicinity of it while it's doing that it will die let's go i see kind of the front ish fine well now i can't do anything because i used my action <laughs> happy so you continue moving Who else is there? Um, is Quinn still there? Quinn is. Oh, uh, actually, Quinn yeah, is hiding behind Sudi. Yeah. But Sudi's running. Yeah. Sudi just ran off. Then I'm in Sudi's dust. Yeah, she's like crouching there and Sudi just ran off and now Quinn is just sitting there like, oh shit. Okay, okay, sure. Hey, Looney Tunes. No, yeah. no, we'll, we'll run in front of her and and protect and, and tell tell Quinn to, to get out while she can. Okay. So now, now Quinn is hiding behind Nona and her shield. Yeah, uh, unfortunately her hide has been <laughs> disrupted because her hiding spot moved. Isn't there like a rule about like size stuff? Yeah, she's small, so she can hide behind medium creatures, but that uh, medium creature moved. I'm not a medium creature. Me and my, my personality is a medium creature. You're a medium creature. You're a dwarf. You oh, are, but, but like Sudi moved and then you moved in front of Quinn. So Quinn is not hidden anymore i'm sure right. the creator that have very good perception because as soon as sudi as soon as sudi moved the the tree could see quinn so it knows that she's there basically. okay i guess i meant cover 
Don't forget That's full cover. What? Don't forget, I'm like since I was right next to Sudi, and I can do the protection. If I'm with right. somebody. I'm still there and can protect. It's not the same as hiding, but like I'm postured defensively around Quinn, like Correct. I would need Quinn just for heads up. Yeah. Cool. cool okay. Cool. So um, next up, uh, we have. Wait, who just went? We had Sudi, Nona. Uh, now we're at Lee. Am I within reach of the tree? Um, you are about 15 feet away from the tree. Um, so I'm going to take that as uh, may not be, but also could be. Uh, you saw it lash out mm -hmm. and hit Sudi, who was beside you. Okay, so... And who is, uh, let's see, Nona's still behind me. Yeah, that now, is a huge its reaction, right? Nona is now beside you, and Quinn is behind Nona. And so uh, also beside you. Mavly is ahead, and then Edie is, Edie's still behind me, and then Wit is still no, behind me. No, Edie is in front of you, kind of facing down the tree at this point. So is with the only one that's like closer? parallel? Yeah. Like ahead. Yeah. Okay. Does does Wid look like she's look itching for a fight, or like she's gonna get going with the rest of us? If I glance over there at them. E Edie looks like she's itching for a fight and is not moving. Okay. What about Wid? Uh, she is fondly watching the tree burn. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I guess I yell out to Edie. Edie, are you coming? I don't want to go until I know we finish this thing off. Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, shoot. Okay. Um. Let it die in the web, Sudi calls back. So, um, so I'm gonna, I guess, use my movement to run towards, well, What's uh, just so I can map this out? What's the distance between me and Edie right now? Between you and Edie, I'm assuming that Edie was somewhere near the middle of the group, um, and so she's probably directly adjacent the tree at this point. And so there's probably somewhere between ten and fifteen feet between you and Edie. Okay, I'm gonna use my movement to go within five feet of Edie and I'm going to run over there and say please we must go and see how her body language looks with me saying that on the way like come with me <laughs> totally freaked out by the tree and not watch feeling comfortable enough to leave it alone you not watch from afar uh I'd stop by Edie if uh is your body language looking like you're gonna resist if I just kind of try and grab you and say we're we're going yeah okay well I guess I'm within five feet of you and I've probably talked enough at this point uh well in that case well shit I guess <laughs> Uh, well, so Edie's right next to the tree, so I can, at my position, can I do a melee attack or am I too far away? Do I have to move more? No, you, you can attack it, yep. If you're beside Edie, you can attack the tree. And everybody, when you were saying, doesn't seem to do as much damage as you would think, they were using slashing, right? Um, slashing and bashing. 
One was piercing. And and piercing. And bashing. Is that the same as budgeting or different? Yeah, same thing. Well, that's inconvenient. Yeah. Um, the the radiant damage from Nona appeared to do full damage. The fire appeared to do more damage. But I don't have fire. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to use my action to use help and hope that uh, Nona continues to attack. Okay, who are you going to help? Uh, I'm going to help Nona. So she already went, so with that extend of her next move next attack um helping nona do what uh, attack the tree um, okay so i mean i don't know if, in this instance would if I, I mean distracting the tree i feel like wouldn't do anything because i'm, I'm well, reading this so so that's basically what the help action is 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 you're distracting the tree to give somebody else an opening okay if that if that logically works with this tree, then that's what I would like to do. Yeah, yeah. So that would be giving somebody the help action on their next attack. A question? You said yeah. Uh, when you said, so you took eight damage, was that factoring in the half damage? From the uh, no, it was not. Okay. Yeah, so if you're raging, I expect you to do your own math. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Also, I totally forgot. Um, so when, when I first looked at the tree, it started the battle, and then I had an, a, a, a move. Was that my first Christmas saving throw, or should I also have done it at my last move? Until you should do it at the end of every turn until okay. you pass. I didn't do it last time. Should I do it now? You should do it now, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't do it last time, you can do it twice now. Okay, so the, that was a 10 for my last turn one, I guess. So I don't okay. think it does anything yet. Um, so I'll use the help action to help Nona by distracting the tree. I'm avoiding looking at it straight on at its face, I guess. Um, okay. this concern. Um, yep. Um, the, the DC for yours, Nancy, is going to be a 15. So... Just FYI. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, next up, we have Quinn. Question. Um, besides the bone and flesh and pus, and even though it's a red tree, is is it a, is it blood? Um. When you hit it, it seems like the sap is a kind of thick blood, but probably not the the same as like, you know, if you were to bleed. It's more like a it's more like a crimson sap. Okay. If you're asking if your dagger would, right, probably not. Okay. Well, um, you do have allies adjacent to the tree at this point, so you would benefit from sneak attack. Just FYI. Okay. Thank you. So I think that Quinn still wants to throw the dagger as an action. Which dagger? Um, or mm, am I close enough to hit it with a short sword or is, is it too far away? 
You would have to move um, towards it, yeah. Okay, then uh, the murder dagger has a range of 20. Okay. Is that close enough? You are exactly 20 feet away from it. Okay, so I want to use an action um, to throw my dagger at it and then use my bonus action to dash towards Sudi. Okay. Uh, roll the hit for the dagger. Okay. Eleven. Eleven misses. So you throw your dagger and it whizzes past the tree off into the fleshy forest. Okay. Then I dash. And you dash to catch up to Sudi. Okay. Great. Next up, we have Edie. going to hit it again um, with a reckless attack. Edie is not thinking straight. She just wants this thing gone. Yeah, awesome. Let's do it. Right. Neither. Uh, it's not going to hit. The, the higher one's a 13. Oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah. As, as Edie swings at some of the branches that are kind of like moving overhead, um, she unfortunately misses. Um, and then it is the tree's turn. Let's see if it gets this back. It does not. She's probably just swinging wildly, not really focused on where she's hitting. Yeah. Uh, let's see, who's the tree attacking to? It is attacking Edie. Um, so it, it does not get its gaze attack back, but it is, um, as you kind of swing wildly at its branches, it's going to bring some of its larger um, kind of barbed branches down at you and swipe across at you. And I'll do the um, Sorry? Uh, the protection style react thing again yeah what's the range on that uh five feet so that's why i was saying uh to ed within five feet oh right yep you you move towards her cool so you're imposing disadvantage yes. so the first one was a 17 to hit the second one is a nat one so that's an auto miss um actually yeah 17 to hit so will that hit uh yeah 17 does hit okay um so that is going to be seven points of slashing damage, which is going to have two, three. Okay. And it is now Manly's turn, who is unconscious. Let me do a death save here. Okay. And let's see, after Mavly comes Wid. Uh, Wid will, he does she need to disengage? Is she within range? Wid? Yeah. Um, you were... I was towards the front of the group and I didn't move. Probably. Okay. Uh, well, she's going to move in whatever way will hopefully not provoke an attack of opportunity and then uh, move ahead with the group. Okay, so disengage. Yep. Great, moving up and with the rest of the group. Are you concentrating on the bonfire? Yes. Yeah, and she'll actually say, if it goes out, I'll just put on another one. Yeah, so how much damage does the tree take, by the way? Let's see. Six. Six. Okay. It takes 12. It is weak to fire. Okay. Um, next up is top of the round. It's Sudi's turn. 
Okay. So have any of them, how many of them have actually separated from the tree? Um, everyone except for Edie and Lee. And Nona. Nona's still within range. Okay. okay. So I can't hold half a dash, can I? You cannot hold half a dash. What you can do is you can hold a, an, a whole dash. Well, I mean, I had to get there, hit it, and then get away. So would that work? So you can you can use your movement to get there uh -huh. and then hit it. And then hold the moving back. Well, no, you couldn't hold your yeah, hold, hold your dash because you're using your action to hit it. Uh, no, I have a bonus action to dash. Yeah, oh, you yeah, can't hold, yeah, you can, can you hold the bonus action. Okay, <laughs> then city will well, move back to hit it. Yeah, what what you can do if you have bonus action dash is you can move in, use your action to hit it, and then use your bonus action to dash away. Okay, well, she's going to hold her bonus action then. You can't hold your bonus action. You can oh. only hold your action. I guess she'll just go in and hit it then. Okay. So Sudi runs in and smacks the tree. Yep. So did you drop the dwarf? It's not being reckless though. Is it a 14 hit? Are you still carrying, Are you still holding carrying the dwarf? No, Are you still I can carrying put it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> the 14 hit? Uh, 14 just misses. Oh. unfortunately because she's not being reckless right now yeah okay yeah next up um so are you gonna dash back or no not until the others move okay cool um next up we have nona nona is so pissed right now <laughs> Did Wid also move? She did. Okay. Does that mean the bonfire went away? No. No, it's still there. The bonfire is still there and it is still visibly burning the tree. Um, how how bloody does the tree look? Um on a I scale mean, of s'more marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. it, it's it's visibly got some scorch marks on it from the fire. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think you, with without using your action to make a medicine check to evaluate the damages, I'll tell you it's not bloodied. Okay. Also, I don't know how practiced her medicine would be against a tree. Nature, but yeah. Um, okay. So she noticed that Sudi came back. Yep. Without Mathley. Yep. So I'm going to look over. Okay. Where can I see her? Is someone you can see Mathley see? in a lump on the path. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm by her. Okay. Between next to her. Is Mavly within 20 feet of the tree? No. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So right now we have Edie and we have Sudi attacking the tree. Is there anyone else? And Lee. Lee is up there. Assisting begrudgingly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and in fact, as you look, you can see that that Lee is like waving to get the tree's attention. Is like, no, no, no. Oh, oh, hey. shit! All right, all right. <laughs> that that's mechanically the help action. <laughs> Got it. All right, fine, fine, fine. We can fucking fight the tree. All right, she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna take. 
She's gonna she's gonna drop her shield, take her war hammer, and smite it with two hands. Okay. Yep. You you don't have to declare the smite until you know that you hit, by the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, where are my dice? I don't trust I don't trust these dice. Even particularly because they've been rolling like semi decently, <laughs> which makes me not trust them even more. <laughs> Where are my? Yeah, if something's rolling really well. You definitely don't want to trust it to continue rolling really well. Mm -hmm. Because probability. Hold on, they're in the other room. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> Um, we're gonna oh, have. Who was that last good berry? Okay. I think the wasn't the last good berry eaten. No, there was one left. I actually, no. did, I didn't say it, but I I wouldn't have eaten it at the time. Okay, well I did tell you to eat it, and I gave it to you. So if anyone has it, it's you. The warm good oh, berry in Lee's pocket. You only gave her three, and you kept. I uh, rolled. A 19 plus four to hit. It first, and then they gave me another one later, and I guess I just shoved it in a pocket. Uh, what was that to hit? 23. 23 most certainly hits. OK. I will smite it. OK. And this is two-handed damage, so this is a d10. It is the d10. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to roll the d10 first. Yep. Uh, this is not undead. It's not undead. Well, right, but you did say that radiant damage did a lot of damage to it. No more. Uh, it did as much as you would expect. Gotcha. Okay, cool. It, it didn't do additional uh, damage. Okay. And then, um, what are her spikes? Where did it go? There you are. Okay. Um, all right, an extra 2d8. So I rolled a seven on my d10 and a seven on my d8 and a three on my d8. So that's 10, so that's 17. So, so that's- 10 radiant and seven dashing. And seven slashing. Seven bashing. Seven bludgeoning. Yeah. Why okay. are you keeping using these as extra names? Because damage types matter. Yeah. Oh, you but mean like calling it bashing it instead of bludgeoning? Because it's the yes. same thing. Okay, <laughs> but Z I plays can a bazillion use. different types of RPGs and it's all the same thing, but they call it different stuff. Right. Yes. That's yeah. True. That's true. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I, as you probably expected, uh, your hammer doesn't seem to do quite as much damage, but as you channel your divine energy and that light, you know, comes like shining out of your eyes or however, however you want to flavor it, like shoots through your body and um, smites down on this tree, uh, definitely does visible uh, as much damage as you would have expected. All right. How does it react? Like, like. Like, does it go? I mean, it, it's not making sounds. It, it like uh -huh. shudders. It's a tree. It's just an animated tree. Okay. These are my cog dice. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones I have. Ooh. Um, okay. And then, and then I don't do anything else because the smite was a bonus action. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. But you still have your movement if you want. And I do still have my movement. Um... I don't think Nona would go anywhere at this point, honestly, because I think you're going to hit it again in case it doesn't die. Because yeah, I think I might just hit it again. You can use inspiration on death saves. In okay. fact, if you use inspiration on death saves, it counts as an automatic success. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Anything cool. else, Nona? 
Nope. Okay. Um, um, it, oh, it, sorry, an I, automatic stabilize. Sorry. Can I pick my shield back up? Um, no, because it's the same turn that you dropped it. Okay. I, I didn't know if that counted as like a free interact with object because I hadn't done one of those yet. Right. So that your free interact with object is dropping the shield. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have Quinn. Me? I thought Lee was before me. Oh, sorry. Yep. Lee. Um. I did forget to do the charisma thing, so I did it in between moves, and I did not pass. <laughs> so, um, where is a uh, Mably on her on her throws right now? Mably appears unconscious. Okay. Um, um, I've been rolling the death saves, so you don't know whether she succeeded or failed. Well, in terms of how many rounds it's been, can I ask in that? Two. Okay, um, well, um, so if I were to uh, say use an inspiration on a death save, could I do that? How would I do that? Would you can't I just... use it for another person, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you can't. Okay, um, well, well, okay. Um... Perhaps save yours <laughs> for a very long time, just in case. <laughs> You've already had your head hit, like, Okay, and um, how far am I from uh, Mavly right now? From Mavly, you're a good thirty feet. Well, that's my my walking speed. Um, so let's see, healer's kit would be using an object as my action, I assume. Uh, using a healer's kit is an action. Okay. Um, to stabilize somebody. I'm gonna... Uh, Those only have so many uses, by right. the way. Yeah, but I, I have... I have uh, oh, it doesn't say... Oh, yeah, it has 10 uses. I've used it once on myself because Nona didn't use that. She used other things on me. I think and it's I, been used at least twice. You tried it on Sister yeah, Cavern's yeah. ball at one point, too. Oh, I forgot. Well, I, I have three of them and they have 10 uses each. Yeah. So yeah. on that, because I was worried about the children back then. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to run over to Mavly, which would have opportunity attack because I want to save my action. That's correct. Um, that, is, that is an 18 to hit. Okay. Uh, and that's just based on my my DC. Your ace, your armor class, yep. That's a 15 for me, so. Okay, so that is going to hit you. And that does seven points of slashing damage. Okay. Just one? Seven? Yeah, just, just one. Just one slash. And then... Yep, just one. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Run over to Mavly uh, and use my healer's kit to stabilize. Okay, make a medicine roll. Uh, I don't need to if I have a healer's kit. Right, uh, just make a medicine roll from humor you. me. Okay. <laughs> uh, 13. But she should be stable. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, I guess I'm gonna use my bonus action to, uh, I don't know how far I am from the tree at this point, but heck, let's throw a dagger. <laughs> I'm just chuck a dagger at it. I'm not gonna get that dagger back. Maybe, maybe not, you know, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Um, would I just use that if I'm throwing a dagger? Would I just use it like it's a normal? Yep. Just like normal. Um, uh, 
to hit is 12. All right, the dagger whizzes past the tree off into the woods. You haven't thrown a dagger in a while, so you're not super great at it. Well, now I'm not getting it back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, uh, Nancy, check your check your messenger. Okay. Anything else? Uh, other than having my reaction uh, and going to my messages, no. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Quinn. Okay, so I still have friends interacting with it. So if I shot a crossbow, do I still get, um, do I get sneak attack? Yeah. Doki doki. Let's give that a drop. 11 plus 4, 15. Okay, 15 is just enough to hit it. Um, and you will get sneak attack for this. Cool beans. So I am rolling uh, 3d6 plus 2. 3, 3, 5, 6, 12, 13 damage. And I want to drop my... Um, or not drop, I guess. What do I need to do because I haven't done this? I want to place my lucky Caltrop um, on Madly, in her coat, on her head, what, you know, like whatever I need to do for her to have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. You can like tuck it in her pocket or something. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll that'll give her advantage on death saving throws. Yep. And um, is that in? Is that my turn? Yeah, I think that's my turn. Uh, I think to put to put the item like on Madly's person, I would allow that to be an interact with object. Okay. Do that and that's my turn. Okay, great. Uh, next up we have Edie. Another uh, reckless attack and I'll go uh, two-handed with my warhammer against it. Okay, two-handed recklessly? Yep. Okay. Uh, 11 plus four is 15. 15 will hit. The other one is a 19 plus four. So okay, yep. Something still, hits. Still gonna hit, yep. That's uh, an eight plus two of bludgeoning and for divine fury is a five of radiant damage. All right, so five radiant. And how much, you said 10? Uh, yes. Okay. And as you smack it with your hammer, um, some of the bark like cracks and a little bit more of the sap blood kind of oozes out. Um, and I can tell you that at this point it is bloodied. Edie just yells out, Dad, damn it. Edie get mad. Okay. Um, next up, we have the tree. And let me see if I get my... See the if tree I get gets my nothing, Z. The tree is just sad. The tree is sad back. <laughs> and done. It's hurt and it has no fence. It's not good enough. It's not smart enough. And doggone it, no one likes it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It is going to attack. One, two, three, four. This is attacking Lee. Isn't she uh, far away ouch. now? The first one is a nat 20. What? Lee's over by Madly. Oh, that's right. You ran away. Um, so it would have hit one, two, 
Oh, yep. Sorry, Nona. Um, that first one is still going to be a nat 20. Okay. And the second one is a nat 1, so it balances it out. Huh. Um, so for the nat 20, we have, ouch, um, 15, 20 points of slashing damage. Nona's down. Oof. Uh, she only, <laughs> she only had six. Lee looks over to Nona. We're too far apart. We're too far apart. No, we're supposed and to go. It fails its deck save again. So go ahead and roll damage, Kess. Three more points. Three more points. I love Wid more every day. It's kind of weird that she's so good at attacking trees as a druid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you spend enough time studying them and being around them, <laughs> they become yeah. like family, and everyone fights with their family. <laughs> who's who's by who's by um, Mavly at this point? Uh, Wid's up there. Quinn and Lee, right? And Wid is up there. And Wid. So, I think reminiscent of Sister Cavern's fall. I think Mavly like sits up seemingly very similar to kind of what you've seen Sister Caverns fall do. And she casts cure wounds on um, whoever's the worst wounded nearby her. Could I reach Nona? Nona no, is touched, not near you. Yeah. That'd be Lee. Would it be Lee? Probably Lee, yeah. Yeah, Wood hasn't taken any damage. <laughs> it just kills trees. She doesn't take damage <laughs> from trees. <laughs> yeah. She just ruins them. All right. All right. Uh, Jamie, I'll let you roll the dice there. Sweet. How many points was it? I'm working on it. Okay. I had a good smack. You've had a couple, frankly. Oh, yeah. God. It's a, I rolled the one. Good lord. Uh that's eight total. Right. You heal eight, eight damage. And then almost on, as see. if almost as if like having been possessed, Mavly seems to like come back to herself. And she's now conscious. Conscious. What the hell happened to Nona? You're on mute, Chrissy. I know. <laughs> She's <laughs> angrily muttering to myself. <laughs> All right. Um, and if Mavly's not doing anything else? Uh, Mavly's going to go make her way to Nona. Okay. Moving uh, over uh, uh, towards uh, Nona. <laughs> <laughs> Nona's down. We're not going to leave her. All right. I, we have it. It. Perhaps she grabs dwarves. All right, Wade, you're um, up. Is, uh, is Mavly still really hurt? Yeah, she's stabilized, but yeah. I mean, is, is she all but dead? Is that what she looks like? <laughs> um, visibly, um, Mavly doesn't look bloodied. Hmm. I, th I think. <laughs> Mavly, Mavly probably looks a little rough, but she's going to fake it, kids. <laughs> Jamie, is Mavly bloodied? I... Yeah, she's at one hit point. Oh, okay. Um, she okay. does look bloodied then. She does look bloodied. <laughs> uh, well, and I think because this is happening in the same round that she's close enough that if I wanted to do a touch spell that I can, because we were just like right next to each other. She's heading towards Nona, but I'm not sure if because of initiative, if I would not be able to do this. I I will allow it, but I, I would like you to make a roll to hit to see if you can catch her as she goes past. Okay. Because it does take a few seconds to cast the spell. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do cure wounds um, as she's leaving. Um, 
So. Just make a regular like touch attack. It, it'll be your uh, melee spell attack. So just like unarmed strike? Okay. No, no, melee spell attack. If you click on the spells tab, it should have a spell attack thing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's probably a lot better than your unarmed strike. Mine is the same, interestingly enough. But hmm. my numbers are also similar. Yeah, I don't have a generic spell attack under there. Um, okay, so just roll a d20 and add your proficiency bonus plus <laughs> your... Because um, I usually use my wisdom for as my modifier because right, I'm a druid, but... Right, so use that. Use okay. your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier plus whatever you roll in a d20. Uh, that's an eight. <laughs> yeah, so in, in that case, I'll say that you don't have to expend your spell, um, but you basically it you're unable to get a hold of Mably. Speedy for an old dwarf. But you can move if you like. For an old dwarf with one hit point. Fucking um. Just mechanically, this is saying that she moved out of your touch range before right. you cast your spell. Yeah. Uh, well, no one expected I mean, the Spanish Inquisition or a bloodied person to go back. Can I move and cast it? You certainly can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, well, then I will um, approach her um, with intent. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, and then to the whole group, I'll be like, I'll light it again on fire in a minute. Uh, and then I will touch Mavly's shoulder and I will uh, cast Cure Wounds on her. So Cure Wounds is not a concentration spell, so it doesn't break the bonfire. I will keep lighting that bitch on fire and <laughs> I will also heal my compatriot. Okay, there you go. Go ahead and roll for heals there. Uh, eight points. That is the magic number today. Eight points. Yeah. <laughs> okay and then back to the top of the round i think this i think this is the last round that we'll do tonight if you don't kill it then we'll finish it off okay okay so sudi go ahead okay she attacks 14 again 14 is unfortunately going to miss again. too late to be back to this right huh too late to be reckless. You know what? I'll, I'll take pity on you. If you want to do reckless, I'll okay. let you. But yeah, it is technically too late. 16. 16 will hit. Okay. And then she wants to grab Nona and run. Um, okay, yeah, Nona is unconscious. So roll your damage. damage. How much? 12. 12. All right. Okay. And then you grab oh, no. Nona. Hi, right, 14. I keep forgetting the extra two. Okay. Yep. No problem. And you grab Nona and drag her away about 15 feet. And does it get an opportunity attack? You are still within its range. Oh. But I'm dashing. Um, that's right. Yep, you are dashing. So you're moving out of its range, and it is going to get an opportunity attack. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Okay. And that is seven points of slashing damage, reduced okay. by half. Okay. So three. Got it. All right. Next up, we have Nona. Yes. It's your turn. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, rolling death save. Oh, that's okay. Um, Nona doesn't look like she's doing good. Well, I think There's... I just ran her right past the two healers. Yeah, I, I think, I think you're carrying her 
um, kind of exacerbated her injuries. Um, I'll just tell you, I rolled a nat one on your death save. Yeah, okay. Do I get um, an inspiration for uh, drawing that thing? Drawing what thing? <laughs> the thing that I posted on Discord that we were talking I, about before we I started. Didn't, I didn't see the thing it. Behind this, thing. Abley. this thing. Oh, you drew that? I this did. Thing. Oh, yeah, I'll give you an inspiration for that. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll wait until I fail the next one to use it. But failing the next one would. Well, you, if you do. fail the next one, you're dead. Uh, don't I get to use the inspiration? You can use your inspiration in lieu of rolling. Where is Nona right now? Right next to you. Nona is being can, carried can by... I make, can I make that decision on my, on my next turn? You can make that decision on your next turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nona is being carried by Sudi. Right and to Lee, yes. Be super careful because Sudi randomly drops unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Lee, it's your turn. Okay, so Edie's still rear end of fight and in front of the tree. Wit is also fighting the tree. Uh, Quinn, can you remind me where you are? Where is Quinn again? Quinn's they dashed. Kind of... I'm, I'm by you, right? Aren't you up front with me? We dashed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, and the tree is, is bloodied at this point. Looks it is rough. bloodied, yeah. It's it's a little bit more, quite a bit more than bloody. Okay. Well, um, and the tree moves after me, right? After Edie. Yeah, it it moves about the same time as Edie. Okay. Well. Hopefully this doesn't bite us in the ass later. But I guess I'm gonna stabilize Nona since she's right next to me and I already have my healer's kit out. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. And then uh, after I do that, uh, I guess I'm gonna run to, um, if I are eating wood close enough that I could be within five feet of everybody next to the tree kind of thing. Or do I have to pick one? Is Wid next to the tree? Wid uh, is not. Yeah, no. I'm as close as I need to be, but Mavly, but not any further. Yeah, Wid is about 10 feet away from the tree. Wid is about five feet away from the tree. Yeah. Edie is right next to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So could I hypothetically be between Edie and Wid and within five feet of both of them? Um, You could be within five feet of both of them. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to run over there uh, for my movement. I assume it's, yeah, it's within 30 feet. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Most of you are moving back and forth within this 30 foot kind of window. And then I guess, uh, two, right? Yeah. Okay. So I have, um, wait, is that weight? Is that, did I bring two? I thought I brought two doesn't have a quantity on there. Okay, so I should have two daggers. I guess I didn't note that before, but one is lost in the woods. Right. So I should have one more. <laughs> which yep, you I, have one more dagger. Mm -hmm. As my uh, bonus action, and hopefully I'll make it this time since I'm closer to the tree and whatnot. Um, I'm going to throw a dagger, and that is, I think, going to be a disadvantage because I've not been rolling well. So so the thing, the thing about using your bonus action to make an attack is you can only do that if you take an attack as your action. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that <laughs> like every time. All right. I think, I think I did that last time though, but I missed. So I guess it's fine. I, I didn't catch it. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll remember that. Let me make a note. I forgot that like three times already. Um, uh, so I guess I'm not going to do that. Um, so 
not really anything else I can do useful for a bonus action. I don't think there's much else you can do as a bonus action. Second wind is a bonus action. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't have any um, action surge. Type things. Well, actually, wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that that did reset actually. No. Remember your your action surge refreshes on a short rest. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that I had that. Um, and that basically gives you a whole other action to use. How do uh, Edie and Wid look health wise? Um, Edie's fine. Wid is the perfection of health. Yeah, they both look okay. I think I'm actually going to save that and sit tight facing the tree, I guess. Okay. Not, not cool. literally ready, but just being ready, you know. Yeah. All right, Quinn. Oh, yeah, cruise and save. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Keep forgetting it to like three moves later. Uh, oh, yeah, don't forget that save. What was it? I got 17. Was it 17? You passed. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Woohoo! Huzzah! You are no longer sad. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> well, no longer cripplingly sad. That, that one, okay. okay. What, what's that like? What's that like? <laughs> All right, Quinn, go ahead. I'm going to shoot it with my crossbow. Okay, shooting with your crossbow. Once again, sneak attack. Eight and four is 12, thir 12 13. 12, that's going to miss, unfortunately. Okay. Um... So that's that's it. I'm gonna stay there. Okay, hanging out outside of this thing's range. Next up, Edie. Another uh, reckless attack with the warhammer. Another uh, reckless attack. Which is a really good podcast, by the way. Reckless Attack. There it is. There it is. Seventeen. Seventeen will hit. All right, that is seven bludgeoning. All right. And seven uh, radiant. Don't piss off the gnome. All right. Halfling, sorry. It, it's looking pretty rough. It is the tree's turn. Let's see if it gets its gaze back. That is a five. So it does. And it is going to attack. Who's still in range? We have um, Edie, Lee. I think everybody else moved back but Quinn. Edie Lee Wid. I was Sudi, heading toward wherever right? Nona was. Sudi grabbed oh, Nona and ran, right? Sudi's out, yeah. yeah. But then she came back. So just you. So is Sudi in range or no? Yeah. I thought you grabbed Nona and ran. How did you come back after that? Did, when did you drop me? <laughs> oh, you're right. I was planning to drop you. Sorry. I didn't see that part. Okay. We need to have a talk um, with Sudi after this. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. So this is this is going to be targeted then at Edie. Um, this is the gaze of agony. The target creature must succeed on a DC 15 charisma save. Or take a bunch of psychic damage. I, if if you if you succeed though, you only take like half, right? We'll see. Um, I do have advantage against being frightened. This uh, is not a fear effect. Gotcha. 
13. 13. Unfortunately, that is a failure. And so you take 18 psychic damage. Is, is it too late to use my inspiration to re-roll that one? You can use your inspiration to re-roll that. Thank you. Damn it, another 13. Okay, you take 18 psychic damage. As, as your mind is bombarded with these screams and it just like splits your skull almost it feels like it's gonna split your skull i imagine edie's also probably bleeding from her eyes and, and bleeding from your eyes and bleeding from your nose and bleeding from your ears and then it is also gonna smash you with its um appendages um first one oh you attacked recklessly so these are at advantage so that is a 15 on the first one. Um, that is a 26 on the second one. Uh, the first one misses since I have that, uh, since I have the shield still, but the second one hits. Okay, first one misses, second one hits. That is going to do eight points of slashing damage to Edie. So three. Is or that already halved because the rage? That is not halved. So four points. The psychic damage, however, is not halved. Yeah, so you take that full 18 uh, plus four from the slash. Okay, and then we have Mavly and finally Wid. So Mavly, what are you doing? Uh, did the tree take fire damage? Oh, sorry, good, thank you for reminding me. Uh, that is a two on its deck save, so what's the damage? Uh, four. So eight. Great. All right, Mavly. Where is Nona in relation to me at this point? Nona has been carried away from you by Sue. I've been Nona napped. <laughs> so I'm going to turn around and uh, Nona. Cootie just keeps dropping unconscious grandmas over. <laughs> okay. So you're going to run over to where Nona is? That's the plan. Okay, um, this is going to open you up to an attack of opportunity. I figured. Okay. Um, that is lucky for you in that one. So oh. it is going to miss. And shit. Mavly's going to wheel around and go, holy shit, I didn't know they could do that. She doesn't fight. She doesn't fucking know what an attack of opportunity <laughs> is. All right. And she's going to make her way back to Nona and... Uh, she's going to grab the thing that she was carving with, with Lee's little chisel and she's going to put it on, on Nona's breastplate and go, by the mercy of the gods, be strengthened, be cleansed, be healed, O Mater's grace be upon you, my companion, and cast Cure Wounds at second level, and that's 15 points. Woo! Woo! That's a big one. All right, anything else, Manly? Uh, and then she's she's gonna lean down to Nona and go, "Why does Sister Cavern's fall taste so stuffy?" And that's what it. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, weird. Moving right along. <laughs> ah ah! What is she just here? <laughs> uh, she's gonna disengage and uh, get out of there. All right, disengage and get out of there. Moving your full thirty feet. Seriously, nobody else takes damage when they run away from monsters. Why do they whip at me? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, Sue's been taking damage. Okay. You and me, Sue. And with that, it brings us to the top of the round, and we will finish this in two weeks. Mm. What a place to stop. Jeez Louise. <laughs> what a place. Jeez Louise. Well, I think 